Brian. I appreciate that. My wife probably would say that. Really? Except for Charlie. Really? Except for Charlie. My wife probably would say that. She knows the inner game. Can we unmute? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I just right. found out we were on mute the whole time during that intro, so you guys didn't get to hear any of the stupid things that we said. <laughs> really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Off to the action. <laughs> Looks like we're going to start out with a $50 flip. Yes. Exciting times. Uh, so you guys didn't hear our intro, but we have a really uh, fun lineup tonight. We got Habib in the one seat here, starting off with a $3,500 stack, uh, Z Fish. Uh, AJ, he's new to the stream. Okay. Um, OFC, he's a regular staple on the stream. Carlos, another regular. B Dunn, new to the stream. He's from uh, Midland, Texas. Midland, Texas. Yep. We all know German moneymaker. He's not from Germany, is he? He, he sure is. He sure Germany. is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got JD. He's a uh, local legend here in Dallas. And uh, Brass Monkey. Brass Monkey. Yep. First time on the stream, but he's um, he's played on some other streams around town, and he has a lot of experience at these stakes and with awesome. these players. So. He's not going to be shy about getting in the mix. Really right. fun guy to have at the table. Awesome. Good group tonight. Fun atmosphere. So I'm excited to see the action. So am I. I'm happy yeah. to be here with you, Mr. Hayden. Uh, yes, Fortini, right? That's yes. Italian as well? I'm Italian as well. well okay, yes, we're both Italian. so <laughs> We both love pasta. That, that's true. <laughs> I definitely had some the other day. <laughs> Just going to start the game off with a $50 flip. 450 in the skillet. Eddie gave us the thumbs up. Now everyone can hear us. Uh, welcome, everybody. 14 viewers in there. I yeah, we got some people hello in the chat already. Thank you guys for being here. This looks like Carlos is top two here with his ace king. Do you play any PLO, Gator? Uh, you know, I used to play PLO a long time ago, but you know what? I got such a hard enough time playing two cards. I don't know if I can handle four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, B Dunn's going to start off here. Oh, Brass no. Monkey oh, Brass with Monkey the 8-hot flush. flush. Yeah. Brass Monkey, welcome to the Poker House stream. Takes down the flip firsthand. Nice little 400. Yeah. It's funny. The first stream I ever played, I uh, won the flip. Right. And I stood up like I was going to leave. I said, it's been a pleasure, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make a little funny jokes like that. Oh, me too. I, especially <laughs> when I win a pot, I like to, I like yeah. to tell them something like, funny. I, I got to go, guys. <laughs> guy one time asked me, he said, where are you going? I said, I got a gallon of milk in the car. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> Double parked. So you're a new dad. Yeah. Or you have a three-month-old son? He's going to turn four months here four real months. soon. That's yeah, exciting. on the On the 29th, he'll be four months. Okay. Very I'm cool. excited. Yeah. yeah. I have a um, little baby boy. Awesome. What's his name? His name's Liam. Liam. I yeah. like that name. Thank yeah. you. Like Our, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. Yeah. <laughs> right. Love it. Our Thank daughter's you. name is Emmy. She's uh, 20 months. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's, cool it's having awesome. a kid. It's a blessing. Yeah. Then you have a little tiny poker player eventually. <laughs> exactly. Oh, she's going <laughs> to kick my butt soon. Don't worry. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> It's like a beef's coming in. I don't see his cards yet. Ace Jack offsuit. Yeah, the Ace Jack. 100 and a quarter on the UTG plus two. Yeah. AJ coming in here with the Ace Deuce suited on the cutoff. And Moneymaker 7 3 on the third blind. Looks like he's going to give it up. Oh. Surprised to see Habib check here. I am very surprised at that as well. And um, AJ checks back. King of Hearts. AJ's drawing a, a deuce for the winner. Yeah, I think AJ is going to be in a spot here where he's probably going to call down. Yeah, I can definitely him. see he's calling. And oh my oh, gosh. He and thinks the deuce. And Habib's going to be bamboozled right on the river. Yep. I think. Depending on the sizing here, I'm interested to see if AJ is going to raise when the flush gets there. Backdoor flush. I don't know who AJ is, but I would lean towards putting in a, a small raise here. Maybe it's about 600. Yeah, oh, he just he calls. Does just call. And he's going to take down a $900 pot. Welcome to the stream, AJ. Welcome to the stream. Habib's going to see he got rivered there. I think he definitely lost the minimum, though. But yeah. more money definitely could have gone in there. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if he gets check. raised there, I, I think Habib's going to call the river. and uh, Yeah. 
AJ's going to win a bigger pot, but uh, AJ doesn't really know anyone here, so I don't blame him for just calling. Yep. AJ is the brother of uh, Sam okay. Niner, who's, okay. uh, who's played on the stream before. Okay. Yeah. So nice to have you here, AJ. I'm sure Sam's watching. We got a regu our regular uh, Poker Monkey in the chat. What's up, Poker Monkey? I see Poker Monkey every week. Oh, he's uh, he's going on Poker Cruise. Nice, Poker nice. Monkey. Enjoy. Have a good time, Poker Monkey. TCH Poker Cruise Sunday. That's already? They're already doing that? Yeah, the, it's. I guess it's starting this weekend. Oh. Press <laughs> Monkey under the gun. The straddle's not on yet. I'm surprised. Yeah, sometimes OFC likes to say, let's play 25 this round and then do, <laughs> do 50 next round. <laughs> kind of needles everybody a little bit. 110 OFC, pocket six is on the cutoff. Yeah. Moneymaker, King Jack of Hearts. What do you think Moneymaker's going to do here? You think I he's going to flat or he's going to raise? I think he's going to flat. Let's give him the flat. Yeah, he, he tends to play these hands a little passively than some more pros would. Um, he <laughs> chooses just to call in some of these spots. I think you see a lot of the guys squeezing the spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would definitely be tempted to put in a three bet here versus OFC because he opens so wide. Yes. His hand plays well post flop. Five, nine, nine, one heart. OFC with the best of it still. COC betting here. Yeah. If you got a check full for Moneymaker. So as a new dad, how how is your sleeping been? You getting um, any? Well, I already sleep bad anyways. Okay. <laughs> so, it was perfect. Yeah, so it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, my wife does most of the work. I, I, I'm not going to sit here and lie. She, <laughs> she does most of the work yeah. with, with the son, and I am appreciative of that. I know that's a job in its own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's um, our job. My sleep sure. schedule sucks anyways. Yeah. But, um, how long before it got more normal for you? The first three to four months was really rough. Yeah. Um, you be, it's actually like cool to see how much you can actually do on such little sleep. Yeah. You can actually still function. I don't know how. Yeah. I remember getting to a phrase where I would like celebrate if I got four hours of sleep. Right. And then I, <laughs> it's like an accomplishment. I slept so good last night. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so rejuvenated. Yeah, you slept a whole three hours. You feel wow. Yeah. <laughs> So be done with a nice hand here. He's four diamonds on the button. He's going to kick it up. What is that, 175? Oh, it looks like Abib did put the 50 straddle on. Oh, see, well, the 50's there finally. Yeah. There we go. And these players both have wheel-suited aces here. Yep. One heads up, 390 in the skillet. Nobody flaps much of anything. Abib's got backdoor spades. They both got backdoor uh, wheel yeah. draws. Backdoor wheel draw. Yep, and now they're both drawn to it. B Dunn's going to check back here. We're probably going to see a call here from him. B coming out firing for 200. I don't blame him for calling. Yeah, I like this call here. You might think that Habib's taking a stab here, in which he is, and maybe B Dunn has a, intentions of stealing it on the river. Yeah, he beats he a lot of semi bluffs, like straight draws, Queen uh, jacks. Yeah, hands seven eights, hands like that. So. Yep. Six seven. And this is a five. This is a river where he could definitely call. Um, <laughs> Four hundred. Yeah, I mean, if he, if he likes his hand on the turn, he should like his hand on the river yeah, here. Chopping all the draws missed. Uh, Habib is very aggressive, so if he's watched the stream at all, you know Habib is capable of bluffing. And I actually do like this call, but they are going to chop the pot up. Yeah. Habib's going to be like, nice call. Habib is going to be happy to get half of the spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to be thrilled. 15, 90 in the middle, win 20. Yeah, it's funny. That's the only other ace that he chops with, any other aces. Though. Right. Yeah. So. I think that was a well-played hand by both players. Yeah, I think so. Habib is just never letting go, and uh, B. Dunn said he's not done with it. Yeah. So. Yeah, Habib does not like to give up. He, no. He will keep firing. Uh, no, 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 that's true. Move it over. Yep, no, Habib double So I've played with B. Dunn in a few tournaments. Uh -huh. um, he's definitely an experienced tournament player, aggressive. I'm interested to see how he's going to transition in a cash game. Right. Yeah. And, and he started out with about 200 blinds now, since they're going to have the straddle one, I would assume. Yeah, and you will see a lot of these players. Uh, this game starts with 5,000, but it is match stack. Right, so, so it gets this, big really fast. Yes, the second someone doubles up, you always see, like, everyone adding on. Adding 5, right on, yeah. yeah. This is an add-on crew. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is You know that. from the Saturday game. <laughs> oh, yeah, the add-on crew for sure. Carlos with the ace-10 of diamonds. 
Looks like he's coming in for a raise. Dollar twenty-five. And no action on that. Yeah, looks like he takes it down. Nice San Carlos. Yeah. So how long have you been in Dallas for? Been in Dallas um, last year uh, since June. Okay. Um, and then I, where I currently live, I'm still in the Dallas area, but uh, I always say I live in Dallas because nobody knows where I live. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm just like, it's in Dallas. Um, but I ended up buying another home. I bought my first home and let's just say I wasn't too happy about it and I sold it. And okay. Then I bought a, I bought another home uh, and I closed that on October 31st. Okay. So Very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I would, I would consider myself living in Dallas since October 31st. Okay. <laughs> the prior experience uh, wasn't the happiest. I gotcha. <laughs> Carlos well, Pocket Fives. I'm glad you found a good home. I appreciate it. I, yeah. You know what? Awesome. I'm happy. I like it. Yeah. It's great poker here. Yeah. I think it's the best poker city in the country. And the I'm moment. only 25 minutes from here. That's perfect. Yeah. yeah so it's That's an great. easy try. Yeah. Easy, easy straight shot. Yeah. Uh, Brass Monkey with the re-raise. King Jack of Clubs. I like it out of the small blind. Yeah. I think Carlos limped a Z fish call from the blind and uh, called Brass Monkey's raise. So got some action here. Six, nine. Brass Monkey with the best of it, probably going to lead out here. Yeah, I think I he's just going to take it down on this board. Yeah, he should, unless somebody wants to get a little bit sticky here, but I would assume that this would be a fold fold. And he takes it down. Nice hand, Brass Monkey. Uh, the status of Beach Restaurant open up. I actually heard, I think it's going to be about a month. Yeah. Maybe a little longer. He okay. said he's going to let us all know when it's open, and we will definitely let you guys know. And I can't I wait, can't to, wait go to go there. back. I've never been there. I've been there twice. I'll tell you, it's like some of the best food I've had. Really? Period. Wow. Yeah, by far the best Mediterranean food. Um, best food I've had in Dallas. And I like Mediterranean yeah, food, so it's I'm fantastic. excited to check it out. And the first time we went, it was a treat because the beef was there, and he actually went back in the kitchen and prepared the food himself. Wow, really yeah. cool. Took a lot of pride in it. It was very cool to see. So <laughs> that is really um, nice to see. I like yeah. I like someone who takes pride in their work. Absolutely. And, and, you know, especially in the restaurant business. Yeah, I told him I'm like, your your food is so good. You're a culinary genius. He should be on like these like chef shows or something. I was like, you could be. I was like, your face should be in Vegas, like <laughs> right. on a billboard. You know, I, you I gotta go casino. see. <laughs> yeah, I gotta it's fantastic. see. Uh, JD looks like he flopped a, a gutter ball here. OC, nothing but a backdoor flush draw. Probably going to be a bet fold here. Yep. So we're starting off a little slow. No big hands yet. But um, I definitely think things will get moving with this group. Some of these players are a little new mm -hmm. with each other, so just be feeling each other out a little bit. Right. Um, do you, you think you like Dallas better than Florida? I really like Dallas a lot. Mm -hmm. So I was in Houston prior. Okay. Um, and we moved here right before Emmy was born, so just about 20 months ago. Right. And I'm a big fan of Dallas so I far. I like Dallas yeah, a lot. I really like the city. I love the people here. As far as, like, poker goes and, like, the environment, it's, like, the the most pleasant environment I've played poker in. Yeah. I, I played in agree. Vegas, Florida, California, all these different places, and by far the players here are the nicest, um, most easy going. They, they definitely are here. Yeah. That's for sure. Looks like Bundy. I'm assuming he's coming in for a raise, 100 and a quarter. King, queen. Yeah, I like that. I think the charts will tell you to do that one. Brass Monkey calling with ace three of clubs. OFC two sixes. I can see OFC squeezing, and I can see him calling. Yeah, he likes to mix it up with these pairs, but. Carlos <clears throat> going to call the rest with the 5-4 uh, offsuit, looking for a flop. 8-8-10. OFC with the best of it. I think that uh, B done getting this board in check to. He could see bet that a fair amount of time. Yeah, it's tough multi-way. <laughs> three three players in the hand, one behind him. And he's got to assume somebody's going to call him. Then yeah. He's going to have to barrel the against some sticky players. So. Yeah. Um, this is Brass Monkey's definitely going to continue here. Yeah, with the nut club draw. Yeah. And I would assume Carlos and OFC would fold. Let's see what happens on the river. Four of spades. So interesting to see here if B Dunn will go for a value bet to try and get value from like a hand like Queen Jack or if he'll check to possibly get a missed draw to bluff. Yep. 
Um, and he does go for value. He does go for the bet. And Brass Monkey just folds, so well played hand all around. Nice hand be done. <clears throat> Oh, Poker Monkey said he won the drawing for a free cabin. Congratulations, Poker wow. Monkey. Wow. Hope you have a great time. Yeah, I'd like to know how that cruise. was, that one, that cruise. Yeah. I've done one poker cruise. I did a WPT cruise like years ago. It was, like it was a good time. Good time. I had a good time, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun to get out, do stuff during the day, and play some play some cards at night. Right. And the folks on the cruise, they like to gamble. So it's I've heard. Fun time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's drinking. Everyone's having a good time. That's, that's, that's the way I like to see yeah. it. Uh, JD coming in real handy. He's queen off suit. Raised 100 court. So Z fish three bet in the button here. Big size. The five six, five, six suited. I like it. Me too. I like mixing these hands in for a three bet. Yes. It makes you tougher to play against. It's, and gives you gives you coverage on different boards. I think JD JD might come in with the uh, four bet or flat, but I don't see him folding. Yeah, he definitely think he's either going to. I think he's going to at least flat here. I guess flat. What do I know? <laughs> we don't know anything. Very right. surprised to see that. And uh, unless they don't they, know each other. No, they played a lot together. They, they have. They play on Tuesdays on the on the stream of TCH, and they play. I'm pretty sure Z Fish is now a regular in like a lot of the quarter fifty hold'em games around town. Oh, okay. So I think they do have a lot of experience together. So interesting to see JD choose the fold there. Yeah, I, I figured he would elect to at least call with that hand from him. Yeah. Um, yeah, so surprising yeah, stuff. Was surprising fold for sure. But maybe he didn't want to play out of position with that hand either. Yeah, it is a tough hand to play out of position. Yes. He's coming in with ace, ten of spades, so let's see what he does this time for 150. And Habib's getting right in there. He's got jack nine off, so he's not going anywhere. <laughs> OFC two oh, kings. OFC with the kings. Well, oh, OFC's going to put in a nice raise. I know it's yeah, coming. Yeah, he's definitely going to put in the squeeze here. AJ, what is he doing? Is he bringing up raisin chips? Oh, oh my gosh. AJ mixing it up with a little three bet here. 425 and Habib with two kings. OFC with two kings, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. OFC with two kings. You, you can't ask for much more here. No, this is a sweet, sweet spot. You got a raise, a call, and a three pet in front of you. I think he's gonna go sizing wise here, maybe like eleven to twelve hundred. We'll see from him. I could see that for sure. Oh, he's but going it's gonna really come big. really big. I'm surprised to see him go so big, this hand. Yeah, this is <clears> this <throat> is basically gonna go through and everybody's gonna fold. <laughs> Twenty one fifty. Yeah, that's a really big size. That is. Um I usually see him go a little smaller with his premiums. I would be thinking if I'm AJ, not that you're continuing, but that this is maybe more of like an ace king sizing or like pocket jacks, pocket tens. Right. Such a large size. And now AJ's going to. Yeah, he's going to let it go. And OFC takes down a nice pot there. Yeah, yeah, he does. He picks up a nice 800 and change. OFC is like a poker magician. That's he, how I think of him. I think he is a magician. <laughs> yeah. I, I, he, he, he always you know pulls out like the <laughs> sickest wins. It's like he's like he's the he's the best at hitting gut shots. I told him that last week. I yeah. said, you know who's the best hitting gut shots? You are. Oh my god, the four <laughs> the four deuce of clubs hand against J Rock was one of the craziest hands I've seen. Man, the period. that's why I said that man will torture you. Yeah. We got Lego in the chat. What's up, Lego? Looks like no 50 on this hand, so JD Folden. Brass Monkey, Jack Three of Clubs, Habib Z Fish. Let's see. Yeah, okay. That's worth a little raise. King Six suited for him. Be done. Ace Four Offsuit. And what do you think about defending here with um, Ace Four Offsuit? I don't love it in the small blind with know. Moneymaker behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think he's going to be in a tough position the whole hand. Right, you got money maker in position. You get and you get uh, original razor Z fish in position, yeah. and then you're with a, kind of a bad hand. Yeah, yeah. I I personally try to for the most part avoid like the off suited 
uh, weak aces in cash games. Right. Unless I'm like raising the button or something like that. Yeah, and out of position, you're going to get absolutely yeah. punished a lot. I'd much rather have a hand like 5-6 suited or yeah. something that flops well, deep stacked. Yeah, I, I hate having, honestly, I hate having hands like ace-6 and ace-4. Right. Uh, off suit. Yes. Yeah, all those hands aren't. Don't play great deep stacked. No. So my maker checks. See, he's just gonna put another barrel yeah, in. Yeah, he's going for it with complete air ball. He is. It's gonna put Moneymaker in a tough spot. Um, Zfish definitely has all the strong hands in his range here. Yeah, he has uh, Jack Nine in his hand, in hand range too. Cool. Two all the big queens, sets, all the two yeah, pairs, over pairs. Sets. And Moneymaker yeah, does fold. I don't blame him. He, yeah. he, he might have to call another barrel on the river. And yeah, really I, hate it. I love the double barrel by him with no uh, no draw, no equity. Yeah, he said, you know what? I, I don't think you're going to call this. Yeah, <laughs> love it. There's a lot of tough rivers for Moneymaker, too. Yeah, now I mean, we're playing poker. Yeah, now we're playing <laughs> poker, yeah. Love to see it. Yep. Yeah, I think about some people may not like to be bluffed on the stream. I find that I think people call more on the stream. Yeah. I, I would concur with that. Yeah. Even though it's kind of funny because it's like you're gonna find out, right? You're, you're gonna find <laughs> out. There's an old saying: I'd rather be I'd rather be broke than curious. Yep. <laughs> you sleep well at night. <laughs> I don't want to well. wait that that hour or couple hours to see that hand. Yeah. I want to know now. Oh, C mixing it up in the cutoff. A six offsuit, raising it to a hundred and a quarter. Be done. Queen eight. Money maker nine eight off. My Nobody really had a down. hand to, yeah, no one has to a, defend with. So are you excited to get in the mix tomorrow? I am. I'm, yeah. You know what? Win or lose, I'm always excited to get in the mix. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen you lose yet. <laughs> I've been very fortunate. <laughs> not, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I always say eventually they're going to make a pair of gator boots out of me. <laughs> so... You just you just see me off when you don't see me off the stream when I'm getting buried <laughs> off <Yeah>. the stream. <laughs> So, like, the first time you played the stream, were you nervous? How were you feeling? Excited? I was excited. Uh, honestly, um, cameras and being in front of people doesn't make me nervous. Mm -hmm. But I will say one thing. I had something to prove that day. Yeah. Um, looks like there's going to be action in this hand, and I will continue with that answer. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to see Moneymaker, Moneymaker probably raise, raise it up here. Like, yep. 300, 350. Maybe 250. 350, yeah. He goes big. He's oh, out of 350 position. 350 small blind, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I can't see the chips that well. And Habib's like, I'm defending my $50 Habib said, straddle. I got 10 six of hearts. Yeah, I'm going to crush you, moneymaker. We can get a flop let's here. Go. He says, look into my eyes. Let's go. Habib, <laughs> <laughs> Habib said, this is not a hand that moneymaker's raising with. Yeah. He's, he's, I'm surprised Whoa. the came fold there. He gave yeah. it up. It's early in the stream. He was cutting out chips to call. Moneymaker takes it down. Takes it down. Nice little 185. Yeah. Um, so as for the stream for the first time, I wasn't nervous, but I was very excited. I had something to prove. A lot of people that knew me, they said, we don't think that Paul plays uh, poker professionally. And I said, okay, well, now you get to see it. <laughs> and I was so happy that I, I mean, it ran good in a couple spots. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I was just so happy that it happened. Yeah. Because that first impression made my... Uh, you know, feelings just, you felt com more confident, I felt confident, yeah. you know, awesome. and <clears throat> I, I never used to have something to, something to prove, but that day I did. And I was like, this is the day that I hope that I really win a lot of money. Yeah. Just so the people out there can see that, you know, that you know what you're doing. Yeah. Were your like family, was your family watching? And yeah. A lot of my friends, you, that's know, cool. you know, a couple people like that, but two aces for AJ. And he limps. He limps under the gun. Got devious plans. B Dunn's going to raise it up. Looks 375. Like a big raise. That is a big raise. That is a very, very big, big raise. And uh, AJ just calls. Very sneaky. He Aces. said, B Dunn, I think you're bluffing. Yeah, he's setting a trap. He is setting a trap. Setting a trap. Oh, my. 
and it's it's gonna be a tough uh, tough lot for B down here. AJ checking aces over yeah. to the razor. Checking on the razor. He's got the nut club in his hand. I like that. And B done just firing right <laughs> off with his king. Doesn't know he's in a world of trouble. Yeah. So AJ might be a very fun player to watch. He seems like very unpredictable so far. Like the way that he's playing this hand is very um, like unconventional. He's coming in for a race yeah. now. Yep. Yeah. He's already three bet squeezed with queen six suited. So yeah, he's, he's going to be in the mix. Yeah. He's going to be a fun, fun player to watch. Yeah. Wow. And B-Dunn's calling. He so is AJ's calling. So AJ's getting a lot of value for his aces right now. The five of clubs would have been a really interesting card. Yeah. But it's the eight of clubs. Still an interesting card. B-Dunn can hit a seven. He can hit a five. So what do you think here in AJ's shoes? Would you would you lean towards checking or going for value here? <sighs> Man, I love AJ's hand even more now. Yeah. And I think that I think I go for some value. Yeah. I don't think I bet 3600 Yeah. I think you can definitely, there's value to be had from like hand like King Queen with a club or King right. Jack with a club. King Queen with a club, King it's Jack It's almost with like club. if he's got a flush, so be it. The pot's right. already so big. You have the ace of clubs. You have the ace of clubs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I know I wouldn't want to fold my hand. Yeah. That so would either. It, there, there's that. Um, if I were to check and he shoved, I, I don't see myself folding. Yeah. Definitely calling. Yeah. Um, but I like I like betting because of the king queen, the king jack, um, the other off hands that could have a club in there. Um, but I would assume he'd have more king high hands. Yeah, and the possibility of a club as well. Yeah, I think we're I think this bet size is going to allow B done to get away from the sand here. It's leaning towards that way. Yeah, he doesn't have a club in his hand. Yep, he's got a gut shot, but yeah, he could he, be drawn dead. Or a hanger five, slim. and he could be drawn dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So nice hand there for AJ, taking down a couple nice pots so far this stream. Yeah, and picking up two aces and playing them pretty tricky. Yeah. <clears throat> Mixing up his play. Would you have had any buddies from back home that want to come down and play with you on the stream? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a couple friends that's been inquiring. Uh, one lady named uh, Judy. She's on the chat sometimes. Um, I think she said she would like come down next two months or so. Uh, one gentleman did play. Uh, one of my friends when we first played, um, Jake. Um, he played on the very first stream I played in as well. That was the whole reason why we went on the stream said, hey, you want to go play the poker stream? I said, well, why not? <laughs> Have some fun, mix it up. Habib, two nines. See fish, 10 jack of clubs. I see Moneymaker calling here, too. Yeah. There we go. We have six ways. Six-way pot. We call JD it raising Texas it up, up with the king-10 suited on the button. Love that hand in a cash game. Okay. Queen-8. Queen-8 tray. And uh, Habib with the best hand so far with the nines. Z Fish with the gut shot back door. A nine would be a juicy Let's turn draw. card. Yeah, nine, nine of clubs. The nine of clubs. That was a nine of clubs on the turn. Okay. Ooh, ace. Oh, Carlos. Carlos with aces up here. Yep. Top Moneymaker turning a flush draw. And uh, good card for. I like Z Fish's lead here. He yep. Turns a lot of equity. Um, he can also represent an ace. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Carlos, I would assume Carlos is probably going to put in a race here. I'd like to see a race here from Carlos. Yeah, very, and I think he's very draw heavy. What do I turn? Know? But he does just call, <laughs> and this is probably going to allow Moneymaker to call as well. <laughs> yeah, I see Moneymaker putting the call in for sure. <clears throat> I wonder what B is going to do with the two nines. If he's going to get a little sticky, he is. Yeah. And the B, uh. Unfortunately, drawing dead here, he does not want a nine to hit on the river. Right. Great river for Carlos. Yeah, really good board for him. Um, so interested to see if Z Fish is going to go for the bluff here. Would um, like to see that, and I'd like to see Carlos put a raise in. 
Yeah. He's going to bluff at it. Well, he's going for a kind of, it looks like he might be going for a bigger sizing. Wow. Kind of a polarizing sizing. So maybe there's not a need for Carlos to put a raise in here. Yeah, I think Carlos at this point is just going to call. Yeah. I mean, 1575 is a. I mean, Zfish betting into three players. He's representing like two pair or better. Really right? strong hand yeah. at this point. So um, he has a few. Carlos folds the aces and eights. I'm honestly Wow, shocked. I am very surprised. I really felt Carlos would have called there. Wow. The only couple hands you can think that's beating Carlos, ace, queen. Yeah, he's losing to ace, queen, which Z fished in and threw that pre flop. Right. And he's losing to uh, pocket threes. That's yeah. pretty much it. I mean, he could be losing <clears throat> to pocket eights, but I mean. Yeah, very surprised. Given that Carlos just called the turn, I think that was a perfect. Uh, his hand's very underrepresented, so it's yeah. a perfect spot for him to call there. I like um, calling with his hand. For but sure. uh, props to Zfish for going for it. Carlos yeah. gave him a lot of respect there. A lot of respect. Let's pull up. Uh, let's pull up Zfish here. Never mind, I had some user error. Try to pull him up again. Oh. Pull him up in a second. Oh, I think it might have been because uh, Eddie started the, the hand. So he says when he starts the hand, it's gonna it's, oh, it'll skip really? over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yep, sorry about that. So we look at uh, Brass Monkey here on the button with ace eight off. So you can raise up 100 and a quarter. Habib calling 120. AJ calling 100. What, we got three ways. Got three ways here. All right, ace jack or ten jack eight two diamonds. Habib's got a little open ender. AJ checks Brass Monkey. What do you think Brass Monkey's gonna do? Just check it back. Yeah, he did check back. I like this check back here with third pair. Yeah, um, me too. It's a tough, it's a board that connects with the blinds, uh, flatting ranges here. And Habib going for like a slightly over a pot size bet here. I think Habib um, probably get this through. I love this bet by Habib. He's got equity. Right. He puts a lot of pressure on what are essentially like capped ranges in this situation. <coughs> and he does get yeah, it through. Yeah, he gets it done. Nice, nice to done Habib. So Habib's changed his game a lot in the last year uh -huh. playing with him. He used to be a lot more passive and he's he's ramped up his aggression a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he gets aggressive, that's yeah. for sure. He puts in a lot of big, big bets, uh, big semi bluffs, and he's got a lot more aggressive pre-flop as well, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, um, he gets in there, man. And he's had some really big uh, winning sessions recently, so. Right. Yeah. I've seen he's won some big ones. Oh, yeah. And he comes back, too. I've seen him make some sick comebacks. So. Right. He, uh, he gets stuck in sometimes, but he, uh, he, keeps, he keeps fighting. He doesn't mm -hmm. stop. No, he, <laughs> he's not easy to play against, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, he'll put you in some tough spots. Yeah, he will. He'll keep the pressure on. He's a lot of fun to play with. Yeah, great he, guy. Be done to fives, calling 50. Brass Monkey. Brass Monkey just going to call. See fish Habib eight nine of hearts. I like it. Raised yeah, it two hundred up. So this is an example. Like in the past, I think Habib would uh, limp more, over limp more with this hand, and now now he's you know, raising. He's ISO raising. Yeah, right. I love the play. Yep, very good. Looks like Habib flopped. Middle pair, gut shot, backdoor hearts, brass monkey, nine, seven, and diamonds, and be done. Should be done with this hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he should be done. But he's not. He's calling. He wants to see that five come off. And brass, brass monkey. monkey gets out of the way. Get out the way. Oh, spicy turn card Ooh, here. Good, good card here. Habib with the open ended straight flush draw, a pair in the best hand. And be done. Turn the bottom end of the open ender. Let's see what he does. I mean, if it was me, I'd be folding two fives here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be laying down here as well. That's a huge bet from the B. Pot size bet. Really putting the pressure on. So this bet, like, if B done did have a hand like Queen Jack or some sort of Jack, this bet puts a lot of pressure on him. A ton of sport. Yeah. Wow, and he calls the I'm thousand. surprised he's continuing. Maybe he's going to rep a massive hand on the river and Habib gets there 
Ten of Dimes. Oh, he does what I thought he was going to do. Map. He's representing yep. the straight here. He's going to get called. And he's playing right into Habib's uh, right into Habib. Habib's hand there, yep. rivering the straight. It's the only thing I could think of is that he's going to rep a massive hand on the river if he misses. Yeah, the and 10 that, rolled off. It made sense that he could definitely have a 9 there. And when the 10 comes off, he is bamboozled because yeah. Habib has got 8, 9 of hearts. Yeah, nice hand for Habib there. Yes, sir. Ran out perfectly for him. Habib winning a $5,270 pot. Very nice hand, Habib. So Habib, 5270. Mm -hmm. See the uh, VPIP so far. Habib, 35%. OFC, 35%. B done. Carlos, 29%. Z Fish, 25%. Looks like everyone else is in the low 20s. So at the end of the day, who do you think is going to be higher, OFC or Habib? That's a good. I'm gonna say Habib. You're gonna go with Habib. I'd say Habib is probably gonna be like 62% OFC, like 56%. I like That's OFC. my guess. I like OFC for tonight. You like OFC? Yeah, okay. I right. like them both. But all right, all right. you know, you, you, you called Habib. I'm gonna call OFC. Let's right. see what happens. I think it's gonna be a close. It's gonna be real close. Yeah. That's for sure. JD mixing it up, King three of hearts. Yeah, getting in the mix. Habib, he's uh, not going nowhere. No, he's definitely playing this hand. Yeah, he's playing this hand just for how much. And he's three betting the 350. You like the aggression? Love, Love the it. aggression. Tree fitty. <laughs> Raising up the tree fitty and I selling JD. At JD probably going to be done with the hand. But what do I know? Habib says I have a pocket king. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I got pocket kings. <laughs> I love Habib's table talk. Uh, the stuff he says yeah, is hysterical. It's fantastic. Yes. His favorite is, is look into my eyes. <laughs> look into my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> 600. <laughs> he says I'm a nice guy. <laughs> And he's going to show him he's got the ace. He, he is a nice, a nice guy, guy, though. He's like, I got it. He's like, yeah, he's a, a nice guy. guy. Come to my restaurant. He's not lying. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to go to his restaurant. Dude, you, you won't be disappointed. If you guys haven't checked it out when it reopens, sell the Mediterranean. It's off Beltline Road in Addison. It's fantastic. Okay, I'm there. It's the best food you'll have. I recommend everything on the menu. <laughs> I, I, want a beef, I want Habib to cook it for me, though. Yeah. I yeah, mean, gotta I, go I got to get the full things. experience. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's an experience. <laughs> Right, 5, 10, quarter, 50. They got the 50 on. The 50 is probably going to be on more regularly now. Yeah, I think the 50 is going to be on. Beep 4, 3. Mm -hmm. He's getting out of there. Z Fish. OFC, he's not going anywhere. But AJ, Queen 6 offsuit. OFC, I assume, is probably going to put in a raise. Yeah, he's going to raise it up here. Carlos with a real hand, two tens. He's not going anywhere either. Yeah, so oops, he came in for a big raise, 225. He did. And Carlos likes to just call these types of hands, so he's going to just call here with the 10s. All right. Going heads up. They're going to be heads up. And Carlos getting unlucky here and getting outflopped. But it was a fair fight pre-flop, right? Yeah, and he Carlos probably going to continue here for one bet. Oops, he's betting really tiny here with this ace jack. Yeah, I can see a continuation call for sure. Yeah. King on the turn, an interesting card. Carlos yeah. has an open ender now. Yeah, not a great card for both players. I wouldn't be surprised to see it go check check here. Yeah, OFC's kind of not like that card that much. And, and then you know, Carlos can check back his equity and, and get there. Great river for <laughs> Carlos. He's blocking the flush with the 10 of diamonds. You think, uh, so it looks like OFC bet. Yeah, it looks like he bet really tiny size. And I'd love to see Carlos go for a raise here. Yes. And then and he min race. He does min click it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and OFC's like, oh, Carlos man. and OFC have a rivalry. Um, they uh, they battle a lot to, with, against each other. OFC has gotten the better of him in some big pots. Right. So, uh, Carlos really, really wants to beat OFC. 
I can see that. Yes. He has a... Uh, OFC folds for the 75. OFC folds. Wow. What a yeah. hero. What a discipline. Doesn't even want to pay 75. the 75 extra. I might have handed it. that man 75 I think I would just put it right in a stack. Like, yeah, here you just, go, buddy. I just want to hand it over gentlemanly-like. Yeah. Here you are, sir. Yeah, I, I don't have that kind of discipline. <laughs> They must have such a rivalry where he says, I'm not giving you $75. So funny story, actually. Um, right before, there was a stream right before Christmas, and everyone was uh, wearing that ugly sweater, ugly yeah. sweater contest. So you know what Carlos's <laughs> ugly sweater was? What was it? It was a picture of OFC on a sweater. No, so no Carlos way. Shows up, he unveils it. He waits till everyone sits at the table. He goes, he like stops the conversation. And he goes, everyone look. He unveils the sweater. And he goes, is this not the ugliest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> wow, that's next, awesome. Then the next day, he gave the sweater to OFC, and OFC wore it on the next tree. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> yeah. That is really funny. Uh, they're actually good friends, but they have a you know, good rivalry going. Very cool. And, uh, AJ likes to come in with these position three bets here. Three bet in the eight, four clubs. He's really? been the one really mixing yeah, up. Yeah, really getting those. after it. Yeah. yeah, he is definitely getting after it. B done is not done. He's B done picked queen. up on the aggression and he's coming in for the call here. Yep. Moneymaker without a hand. <laughs> Seafish five, four of spades. He might end up putting the 275 in here. I'm doing it all day. This there it is. Perfect hand to call with. Exactly. Love these hands. Let's see what happens. Ten four jack two diamonds. Great flop here for B Don. Yeah, and AJ flopping the best of a bottom pair with an eight. B fish just bottom pair five. Interested to see if AJ does continuation bet here. He does. I don't see B Don going anywhere. Yeah, for B Don it's just a matter of whether he's gonna put a check raise in now or he's just gonna check call. Right. Also it's a king of diamonds, pretty good card. Yeah, I'm a fan of a check raise here. I think you put a lot of pressure on some hands that are beating you, like ace king, ace queen. Yeah, I love oh. it. I like a check raise as well, especially with the king of diamonds in my hand. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he could go 1,000, 1,200. Yeah, set up like a turn shove. Yeah. The way he's played so far, I would be surprised if he didn't check raise. And there it is. Yeah, puts it in. 1550. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like he's committing himself. 1575. Yeah. yeah, and I think this is going to work here. AJ's yeah. in a really tough spot here with this bottom pair. I can't see him wanting to put any more money in the pot with this bottom pair, but I've seen stranger things. Yeah, this is like this is, this is like best case scenario for him. Yeah. And uh, nice hand for B Dunn. Right. On the comeback trail. B Dunn played it well. Yeah. So let's see our uh, cumulative winning so far. We got Habib. Leading us lead. off here, plus yeah. 2,200, Z Fish, AJ, OFC, and Brass Monkey up $10, all in the green. Everyone else is in the red. Mm -hmm. we still got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. Yeah. And these wins and losses are typically small in this game for now. Yeah, so. this is a small, yeah, small nothing. swing so far. Yeah. A lot can change during a stream. Yep. Many thousands of dollars can change hands. Yes. Have you ever had a stream or a session where you start off, like, really hot, and then you end up, like... Like barely up or up yes. stuck. Yes. It's like where the you, most frustrating feeling. <laughs> I, it hasn't happened to me on the stream. The stream I either ran really uh, hot or I was super card dead. Yeah. Or like just stone dead in like certain situations. But right. I've definitely had a, I've definitely had some sessions where I've sat down, won a bunch of money immediately. You know, you get aces. This guy's got kings. It's just like back to back. Yeah. And then somehow I end up losing all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you hear some people say, well, you should have left. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they say, well, what's the difference? I mean, if it play tomorrow or, or, or now. That's true, yeah. That's, um, true. that's but, a good way to look at it. But well, psychologically, that. Yeah. psychologically it could, could mess with yeah. people, yes. Yeah. JD going to see bet with king three. Nothing. He's going to take it down. He's take it down. Um, remember somebody asked me, they said, well, what do you do, Paul? When you're losing in the game, I said, well, losing's irrelevant if you can continue to, if you can afford to continue to lose in the game. Because if the game's worth playing, that game might not be there tomorrow. Exactly. So I'm going to play it. Exactly. As long as I'm... As long as you're uh, in the right mindset. I'm not... Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not tired or I'm not, you know, I'm feeling well. I'm feeling ready to play. It doesn't matter how much I'm down. Right. Um, so everybody would say to me, well, do you have a stop cap loss in whatever game you play? The answer's no. Mm -hmm. um, what about you? 
Um, it depends on the size of the game. If it's a bigger game, I usually have like maybe a three or four buy-in uh, stop loss. You mean bigger for your role or as you would regularly like play? The, like, yeah, like for the streams, I would I would usually I would have a three buy-in uh, three buy-in cap. Right. Yeah. And I but, understand. And sometimes I would use those to add on if I, you know, saw you know thought that was the best thing to do. Sure. Given the situation. Carlos calling two, two and a quarter, two four. Wait, did he fold? No, he called. Oh, no, yeah, Carlos yeah. calling with Graphics fours. tricked me for a second. Moneymaker calling. I don't blame him. Two sixes. Brass monkey, ace three of spades. <laughs> Beep, jack ten. AJ raised it up with ace nine off. The Mike McDermott hand. Yep. Remember them rounders? Off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, my gosh. Moneymaker just flopping quads. Oh, wow. And Habib flopping top pair. Interested <laughs> to see how this hand's going and to play out. Habib is bamboozled in this hand. Yeah. He's Doesn't in, matter he's what in a, happens. He's in a basically. rough spot. Yes. And he is leading out for uh, 700 here. And Moneymaker's going, how much more am I going to win? Yeah. He's uh, he's thinking of Vegas and the Mirage. Talking about rounders. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking of Vegas and the Mirage. <laughs> yeah. So, Moneymaker, he's just going to call here. That makes the most sense. It does. Yeah. And uh, Habib's got to be wondering. Oh, my oh, gosh. This is even worse. what a terrible turn card. So, this, you know, this card, obviously, um, if Moneymaker had a better jack, obviously, Habib's beating him now. So, Habib's yeah. got to be feeling really fairly confident. good about this yeah. card. Yeah. He's got to know he's beating ace jack. He's yeah. beating king jack. Mm -hmm. Um you know, he's not beating the over pairs. But. So interesting here, if Moneymaker will go for the check call or if he's going to go for the check raise, it's kind of a tricky spot because this sizing kind of signifies to me that Habib might be betting this turn to check back river. And I think Moneymaker's just going to call. Um, uh, so no, he's, he's exposing his hand now. Yeah. yeah. I think Moneymaker's a little concerned that uh, Habib um, is, gonna, is playing in check back river. Uh, potentially. And and Habib is not going anywhere. How much did Moneymaker raise it? Looks like he min raised. He min clicked him to fourteen hundred. Yeah. And um and Habib snap called here. Yeah. And it's a rough spot for him. Now what do you think? I think Moneymaker shoves the river and then Habib's gonna call. Yeah, it looks like the pot's now fifty three hundred and yeah. Moneymaker's got about a half so twenty eight half pot bet yeah. left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Shoving would make the most sense here. Yeah, shoving would make the most sense, and I think Habib's just going to call it off. So, and that looks like the half of that's happening. He did shove. I like Moneymaker's raise on the turn. Yeah, well. I actually really like the raise. I think that if if Moneymaker check called twice, I think Habib would be a little suspicious that his jack a ten isn't good. Yeah, at that point. he knows Moneymaker's on the tighter side. Right. Um. So I think. I think Moneymaker read correctly that Habib was playing in check back river. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And get a little bit more money in the pot on the turn. And, and then that size it up for the river, yeah. Yep. Put him in a spot on the on the river that he's not going to yep. like. So we're going to hear some fun uh, Habib table talk here. Yeah, let's turn right. that part yeah, up. Yeah, let's turn it up. Yep. Oh, it's like right here. Looks oh, like he does call. call. Oh, my God. I did think that was going to happen. Yeah. Only Moneymaker makes quads. That's how you make money, making quads. That's why they call him Money Maker. Yeah. <laughs> Best poker name. <laughs> Very nice hand for Money Maker. Well played hand. What a flop. Brutal spot for Habib. I think that turn card really sucked him in. Yeah, that is a brutal spot for him. Yeah. You have a <laughs> Carlos apparently made quads uh, last Saturday. So yeah, I, so he I heard he did. For me. he did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to take the quads master class. Hey, these guys need to start teaching me how to flop quads. <laughs> I'm going to ask them tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so very nice hand here. Money maker. It's going to change our... Uh, Cumulative winnings. Let's take a look at that. Now, Moneymaker's going to be on the top here. 4,900. Yep. 4,900. Zfish, 1,600. Whoa. OFC up about a tank of gas. Yeah. And uh, everyone else is in the red here. Right. Yeah. 54 viewers in the chat. What's up, everybody? Hope Thank everybody's you guys doing here. well. Thanks for being here tonight. If you're new to the channel in the chat today, like and subscribe. Got Hayden over here doing a great job. 
I'm happy to be here with him. Yeah, how are you liking the commentary so far? I'm, I'm enjoy I love it. Yeah, you're great I, for it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, they could tell me, you know, hey, Gator, you want to play in the game? No, let me commentate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good to mix it up. I, I have fun with it. It's the first time I've ever gotten to do something like this. Yeah. But, um, you know, when, when I was younger, I always wanted to be into acting and stuff like that so doing some commentary is right up my alley i like it i enjoy it i genuinely like it yeah i love talking poker and you know it's fun you know i love talking and watching poker so it's like a great great mix yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, watch some good poker mm -hmm. talk about some strategy interact with the chat yeah um, it's fun to sit here stuff. watch it live yeah absolutely. Um, coming at you live straight out of dallas in poker house poker house dallas the one and only yeah one and only said I hate jacks and uh, Chris German moneymaker he's in a uh, seat seven oh that is profile pulled up be done AC to hearts he's gonna raise it up here moneymaker gonna fold GDA's four offsuit Z fish Two yeah. queens. Taking up the queens. Couple of ladies. Goes for a small three bet here out of position. Mm hmm. It's 3x. Once they get called, be done. Ace to hearts. Looking for a good flop. Oh my gosh. Thankfully two for B three. done. Yeah, he's probably not going to lose. Shouldn't be losing any more money in the spot. No, he should be folding here, but I've seen Stranger Things. And, uh... Oh, no. no okay. he, he thought about it. <laughs> right. thought, it. thought for a second. Yeah. And said, no, nah, let's not do that. So your ace-king suited fold was one of, like, <laughs> the most impressive folds I've seen. You really think so? Because, I mean, it's not... It wasn't that much more to peel. And no, I it mean, wasn't. It's a standard spot to to jam over four bet i it have is. seen moneymaker on stream four bet hands like ace queen sometimes ace jack yes in those types of situations so i was a little surprised to see you fold would you consider yourself more of like a instinct player yes or, okay yeah i you know there's guys that play by charts and i don't okay uh they play by charts i play by brain farts uh, <laughs> <laughs> i got you thank god i didn't have one on that hand yeah <laughs> all right you like to play by charts a lot I, I like to do a mix. I mean, I like to study, but I also, you know, use some like instincts and and reads and feelings. I mean, and I mean, like that. money makers tough player. Yeah. Um, so it was a, that's why it was an impressive fold. Um, I definitely wouldn't. I don't think I w would fold in that spot. Really? Them, yeah. You think you call the five hundred and? I either call it or I might. Or given your it? stack size, I might have ripped it. Yeah. I think I had around. Sometimes the graphics. Yeah, are I think off. graphics could have been wrong. Yeah. Um, I think I probably had around 5K, and he had around three, four. Okay. He made Not 100 percent sure. Yeah. Um, let me see what's going on here. JD Queen Seven of Hearts raise it 250 on the button. Looks like all the blinds called. Yeah. A beat mixed it up with six two suited. Yeah, he's getting in there. Sevens. OFC looks like he flops the best hand, but JD with Beautiful the best flop equity. For JD. Yeah. Absolutely. Open ender, open card, flush draw, all everything. All kinds of things going yeah. on. He's going to put in the continuation 400. I like that. Yeah, I love this spot. And um, tough spot here for AJ. He's got top pair, weak kicker, but very draw heavy board. Oh, yeah, I missed his hand completely. Yeah. He had jack four space. I thought OFC flopped the best hand, but it was actually AJ. And OFC is going to continue here. And they're in a coin flip situation so far. Beautiful card here for OFC. Yeah, that changes things. This might be a big pot. And JD bets here, I think OFC raises. Yeah, I'd like to see JD check back. I think uh, OFC will hit this 10 a lot. I'm yep. a little surprised to see him bet. And he's going to be, he's going to be, um, he's not going to be very happy when he, if he gets raised here. No. It is a polarizing bet here from, uh, from JD. Like, I think JD is the type of player that would check back some over pairs, some like hands like ace jack on this turn card. Right. So I think that, um, I think that when he bets, he's kind of representing like 
a straight or trips. Trips are better in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, pretty big hand. Yeah. And it looks like OFC's just, just gonna calling. Yeah, he kind of has a bluff catcher. King of Hearts played. on the river would have been a great one. Yeah, that would have been a great one. Five of diamonds. And OFC has a beautiful hand to uh, chuck call the river with here. Yes. If JD does decide to go for it, and JD is very capable. Um, he plays high stakes a lot, but he does check wisely back. check back there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he might have thought something was going on on the turn when OFC called the 1500. Yeah. Had to yeah. assume. So nice hand there for OFC. Yeah, OFC. Oh, whoops, what happened? I think Ed started it again. Started the, oh, the, hand. the hand. Oh, yeah, when the hand starts, it takes starts, it off, see. right? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm no clicking buttons in here. Go check it out. Right. OFC, king, queen, offsuit. He's not going anywhere. He's going to put in a raise, I'm sure. There it is. Moneymaker, Ace, Eight of Diamonds, calling the 100. JD, King, Nine of Spades. So do you like the three bet, the types of hand Moneymaker has in a cash game, or it kind of depends on the, the table layout? It depends on the table layout. Yeah. I, I think that I think that Moneymaker plays extremely well in these lineups. Yeah. Um, and Habib. Habib likes the three the bet. aggressive squeeze <laughs> here. This is what I'm talking about. 775 with the Jack 10 suited. He's a he's a he's a player, man. He yeah. is he is somebody that is scary. And I love this play. <laughs> he's got a real nice hand. Flops well. High equity. Yeah. Um, he's gonna take it down a lot pre-flop. Yeah. I mean, the only person he has to really worry about is OFC, and he got him right out the way. So yeah. Got, yeah. Everybody else is just gonna give up there. Nice play there from. From uh, Habib. You guys didn't get to see the stream last week, but uh, there's a hand that we play off the stream when the stream shuts down. And uh, Queen of the Felt made 100 and a quarter. Uh -huh. Habib, 375, two callers. I look down at five dudes of hearts, make it 1,400. <laughs> Comes back, Habib goes, 10,000. <laughs> I said, nice hand. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> he had a uh, ace king. Uh, I said, I was hoping he had a uh, 7-5, but yeah, that step, didn't work out. Stepped in it there. I stepped in at that time. Was that one of the brain farts? <laughs> that was one of the brain farts, because we know that four bet ain't on the chart. No. <laughs> Especially out the blind. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. I told a BB it would be 1400 for that hand and, and a $2,000 shrink fee. <laughs> I would have, would have loved to see that. I would have loved to see that. There stream. was a lot of fun hands that was yeah. uh, played. Uh, we had the Jack 4 game one, too, which oh. was a lot more fun. Nice, nice. Yeah, that drives the action. It doesn't look like the players are doing Jack 4 7 deuce this stream. I'm going to see if they'll get the Jack 4 tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to try them a little bit. I think it adds a fun dynamic to the table. It does. R Robbie changed the world. With it. Yeah. <laughs> she really <laughs> she did. It upside down. She probably has the most infamous poker hand of all time. Yeah. I'm good, thank you. All right, in the mix, AJ, two tens. OC and Carlos both sharing cards. Jack nine, Jack eight. Press monkey. Nobody really hit anything here. Yeah, everyone, everyone whiffed a couple gut shots. And AJ with the best of it. Goes checks around. Seven of spades. Picks up a hand for Brass Monkey. Now it's a spade draw. Yeah, Brass Monkey has a good hand to lead out here on this turn. With yeah, and that's what Looks like he's going to take it down. Love the play from Brass Monkey. Yep. Um, he's a recreational player, but he plays very well. He's very solid overall mm -hmm. discipline. Picks the spots well. Mm -hmm. Will get in there and mix it up. So I used to tell, uh, I used to tell people, they say, well, what ha what's it mean to be a professional poker player? I said, well, just because someone's a professional doesn't mean they're winning. Mm -hmm. That's true. Exactly, yeah. There's a lot of amateurs or recreational that I think play better than some of the professionals. I agree. Yeah. Like um, OFC would be one of them. Absolutely. Yeah. I I've seen some guys that, quote, unquote, 
don't play professionally play extremely well. Yeah. And some of these guys, they're very smart people. They're successful in other avenues of life. Exactly. And they play poker for a long time. So, right. They're not, you know, they're not stupid. No, they're know? very smart people. They're successful for a reason. Exactly. Um, be done with two queens raising it up 125 under the oh, gun. We're going to see a confrontation here. Z Fish, expect him to put in the three bet. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, be done will likely come in for a four bet. And be done is not going to be done with this hand. No, definitely not. And not against Z Fish. He's no. shown to be very aggressive. And be done, Scott. About two hundred blinds, um, not yeah. even not even two hundred blinds. I mean, he's it's you know, we're seeing he's got about four k behind, forty one hundred behind, and this is a big three bet, so we might just see him shove here. Given yeah, the, uh, 750's oh. quite the race. Yeah, it's a big big three bet size. A four bet here would likely commit about half of his stack, so we're probably just going to see him go ahead and yeah, rip the, it. Yeah, and if he, he four bets half his stack, yeah. he's not going to fold. Yeah, so he just rips it here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Z Fish is going to call for that amount. <laughs> and we'll be off to the races. Yeah, this is probably a spot where he's just going to have to call. He's already got 750 in there, so. Does the graphics here count the cards that are folded? Or no. They do. They do. They do. Yes. Here. Yes. Because okay. sometimes the percentages seem a little. They off. do change. Yeah, they do change based on cards that were folded. Z Fish getting a count, but I think we are going to see him make the call. Mm hmm. I think I think Z Fish is going to make the call. I agree. Yep. And he does make the call and. What do you think? Are they running it once? It looks like they are running it once. Max Payne. Max Payne. Oh, that's the way I like to run it. I like to run it once. And the queen just seals the deal. I like to run it once, but I always tell everybody, um, hey, listen, it's up to you. If you want to run it twice. Okay, so you do let people decide? Yes. And if it's a smaller game, do you just run it once? Like if you're playing a game that's smaller? No. Play it, no. it depends on the player. The player, if okay. it's a guy like, let's say, let's say it's a player like Habib, for example, and he says, "Hey, I run it twice every time," I'm not going to be the guy that says no. Right. Um, but I there's think Habib runs it one time usually. Yes, and yeah. he does, and I like that. Yeah. Me, preferably, I like to run it once. But there's, um, you know, in certain games, like if I, you know, if I know the guy, and let's say the guy just loves to be in there, be the action, mm -hmm. and he says, "I run it twice," and he gets mad if you don't. I, I'll always run it yeah, twice, and I don't sense. care if it's for five hundred dollars or right. five thousand. I want right. to, I want to accommodate, of and course. you know, I don't want to be that guy that you want to be aware of your surroundings. Right? There's, there's clearly, um, there's clearly arguments for doing both. You know, it lowers your variance to run it twice, but I do think it makes for a better poker game to run it once. I agree because I do think like people being stuck for more money and the swings being bigger it just mm -hmm. creates bigger action. I like running it once. I really do. Yeah, but. It's just there's hey, certain. He might be playing the Jack Four B. Maybe the three hundred <laughs> Jack Four suited. Oh and boy. Z Fish coming up with the cold call here. The East Ten of Clubs. Man, let's see <clears throat> what happens here. Moneymaker two twenty five to call. I'm calling with this hand. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> How about a three ace four board? Maybe three ace Jack. Or that. All diamonds. All diamonds. Moneymaker way ahead and doesn't know it. Yeah, so no one with anything here. Habib is checking. Seafish checking <laughs> back. Uh, that seals the deal for Seafish almost. Well, Moneymaker does have diamond draw, but I don't see him calling if Seafish probably bets here. Yeah, Habib is slowing down. Probably just going to have to give up. Yeah, I think this pot is going to be Seafish's. Yeah. <clears throat> just, and I think I think the Jack 4 game must have been on. Habib looked like he wanted to win that pot. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I think he, I think they have a bounty on there for sure. <laughs> Um, First check four attempt we've seen so far tonight. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Some people like to um, run it twice because you, you see people that say they, um, when they know you run it twice, it emboldens them to, to uh, put it in with a draw. Right. And when you, when they know you run it, it run it once, they think twice about that. Right. That's another reason why I like running it once. Right. Um, but like I said, <clears throat> it depends who it is. Usually, if it's a professional, I'll 
Run it one time. I'll give him the once. Yeah, I give him the once. <laughs> uh, Max Payne, the yeah, professional. Yeah, yeah. Max like Payne that. to the pros. Like that, yeah. um, if it's someone that I like to have fun with, I let them choose, and yeah. I don't get upset either way. Beep, King Queen. It's like you put it in grace. Yeah, I will say when I play PLO, I like to run it once because I actually think it increases your fold equity in certain spots. Yeah, that, and that, that's, and, and that's that what game, I was talking about, that emboldening, yeah, getting it important. in with the draws. Yeah. Yep. And OFC flopping three nines. Okay, yeah, great flop here for OFC. be leading right into it. How about a 10 on the turn? I don't know what JD's got, but. Just, just calling here, slow playing the trips. Okay. <clears throat> it's a turn the turn's already out i don't see it there. yeah i don't i haven't seen the turn card come out yet okay oh, two two hearts. hearts king of hearts on the river this oh looks like could be about 400 on the turn, and Sean just called. Hope you just called. Really? And we're probably going to see this river go check, check. I think Habib did check already. Oh, the turn Habib check called 400. Oh, he did. And okay. then the river. Let's see what happens on the river. And it go, looks hey, like it check, looks check, like check, right? check, yeah. yeah. Nice hand there for Hope mm -hmm. I think he really played it to extract the maximum there versus Habib's particular hand. And he gets kind of a, he gets a poor run out here with the deuce hearts. Yeah. Of hearts. But he's still raking in the chips. That's true. Like they're gonna do a bomb pot on the dealer change. Do you like to play the bomb pots? I love the double bar bomb pot. You do? Yes, they're fantastic. I don't like them. Okay. I I don't know why. I, the the only reason why I don't like them, I don't have a lot of experience with them, but they slow up the game. Yeah, I think I think they're good for the game. They usually get action going. I agree with so, that. Yeah, and I I like them because I like split pot games. So I've, you like I, split pot I've games. Had a, Fair amount of experience in split pot games. Okay, so, so maybe that, that I understand sense. the concepts, the right. strategies. So you like the low, high, low a lot. I do like that game. Right. Yeah. I never been a fan of like limit games. I like pot limit, but like actual limit, I never liked high low. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm boring. I just play too much no limit hold on. No, it's the strategies. It's just very different games. Some people either really like it or they don't like it. Right. Um, but it's anyone that's played high low or split pot games. Well, I think has an inherent advantage in double board bomb pots because it's a, a split pot game. Now the, um, you know, when it comes to the bomb pot or the flip, I just rather do the flip. I just want to go fast and yeah. furious. Yeah. Um, the bomb pots, I felt sometimes off of the stream. Everybody on the stream plays pretty fast, but like sometimes like games that are off of the stream, like seems like people will take like forever. Yeah. Which, no. Yeah. Some <laughs> the hands do go a lot slower. Right. Yeah. But I like it. It's it's good. It mixes it up. And it's like if you if you fold your hand, I usually like take that time to go to the bathroom if I go to the bathroom. Right. And by the time you come back, they're usually like just finishing the hand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy for everybody else in it. <laughs> but um, yeah, every time yeah. I play it, I always feel like I'm chopping. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I enjoy them. It's it's definitely uh, made some of my months playing uh, bomb pots. Really? The, the two five tables. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you've won some big pots in that <laughs> I game. I've drunk some big ones. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's why I love them. Let's check out the uh, V pip so far. Got a uh, Habib leading us 48 percent. Yes, he is. 37 percent, a little lower than we originally thought tonight. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Is it a bomb pot? No, it looks like just another flip, right? Yeah, it looks like just another flip. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and I've seen games where they're just straight bomb pots. Yes, there are straight bomb pot tables. Those I don't love because they're very slow. Very it takes slow, a long right? time. And a lot of the players you're playing with there, they actually want to play bomb pots. And so, so what does that consist of? Is it PLO bomb pots? PLO double board. Double yeah. board PLO bomb. Every yeah. hand. Every hand, yes. And how do they do that? Everybody just antes. Everyone antes, yes. Wow. Yeah. You just go. Let's I'm sure some of the pots get really big. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's like Moneymaker with the, just the nuts. Yeah, Moneymaker with the nuts. He's running good so far tonight. Flopping quads. Right. Taking down the, uh, the flip. Just the nuts. 
he's been running kind of bad on some of the streams recently, so mm -hmm. nice to see him uh, starting off hot here. Yeah, Moneymaker's a legend. He's been playing. He's been playing the uh, the high stakes streams in Dallas in the, like in the last two years now, mm -hmm. and he's had some epic hands on the the stream. He made one of the sickest folds I've seen. Oh really? He opened pocket tens under the gun. Uh -huh. He got three bet um, under the gun one by king queen. Okay. Their heads up to the flop becomes king king ten rainbow. Right. So he check raises flop goes like check. <laughs> Bet 300, he check raises 1400 call. Turn queen, money maker, check calls like a 1500 bet. Right. River is a brick, checks, jam for five, 5500, money maker folds, tens full. Very good fold. I couldn't believe it. Because <laughs> right. obviously, one hand that he beats is ace king. Yes. So it's, I. I don't know how he found a fold there. It's just absolutely miraculous. He must have thought that he was beat, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's the only thing I can think of. So I would also think because of the positions that the guy is more likely to have ace king than he is king queen. Right. You know, given that moneymaker opens under the gun and he three bets mm. directly behind him. He Those ranges have, are have, usually very narrow. Two kings too. Yeah, two kings. You know, you don't necessarily just put someone on quad. No, you don't. Or queen. Yeah, that would one. be yeah. monster under the bed syndrome, yeah. but so. <laughs> a peep flop in the nuts. Yeah, I'm giving him all my money there. And this is, what a flop here. Wow. This is going to be an action hand for sure. Yeah, so Habib raised pre-flop, checking to AJ. I think we're probably going to see Habib put in a check raise here. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Habib, actually, with the stack size, he might just jam. Looks like he's got about 2K behind. And I could see AJ justifying a call. Absolutely. He's got, you know, he's got an, he's got an over to the board. He's got the nut flush draw. We know the nut flush draw wins. Absolutely. So, Habib, I kind of think Habib's raising. <clears throat> he does to 700. 700. That's going to keep AJ right in. And oh, AJ and rips it. Wow. Yeah. Right into the nuts. Yeah. Nice hand. Wow. Action flop here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely that. We'll see what they're going to do. I think Khabib usually does Khabib's run Khabib's always a one-time guy. one-timer. I like that style. One and done. That's not going to do it. Ooh, Black Deuce. And Khabib taking it down. Nice hand for Khabib. So Beeb on the comeback trail here. He's only in for, what, 3,500, right? I think he rebought. I think he rebought re for another three. So okay. I think he's in for 65. Look at the cumulative winnings. Yeah, he's down 2,000. Okay, um, yeah, yeah Moneymaker, still the big winner. At OFC, B Dunn, Brass Monkey, all in the green. And we got, uh, looks like JD. At the bottom here, down 3,100. I don't even know how. I don't know what hands he's played. Yeah, he lost the queen seven of hearts. He did bet 15 Queen seven of hearts. Turn. Yeah, so okay. That was, and I don't think he's won another hand. Mm -hmm. so. It goes fast. Absolutely. Playing high stakes poker here. Friday night at Poker House Dallas. We have 52 people in the viewer. In the 52 viewers. Thank you guys so much for being here. We need Texas Oprah to give away some points in the chat. I know, right? I am not a. <laughs> we're not technologically advanced enough no, to uh, give away no, the points. No, definitely <laughs> not that. We uh, we don't want to shut down the stream accidentally, so we're just gonna uh, sit back, pull up some stats for you guys. <clears throat> Here, a six off suit. <clears throat> if you guys haven't hit that like button, like and subscribe button, it helps uh, helps the channel out, helps the algorithm, helps us continue doing these streams for you guys. It's free. Money maker raising queen ten of clubs, race 150 in a small blind, putting in this. Oh. And Habib. <clears throat> Waking up with the ace-king suited. 
huge sizing. Huge. And uh, <laughs> that's the end of that. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> so angry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's being seated, man. Relax. <laughs> yeah, just say skin suited. <laughs> Goes for the huge size in there, takes it down. Got a lot of authority in that race. Yeah, a lot of authority. You got pocket five, pocket six, no good. Lay it down, Very good. Lay it down, moneymaker. OC, King Queen, AJ, A7 offsuit. It's going to make the call. OC, let's see. You're probably, probably. going to put in a raise, right? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I would assume. Well, 250. Nice raise. Carlos can't do anything. B Dunn's not going to be done with this hand. So yeah, B Dunn with a nice hand there. 250 call, moneymaker. B laying down A side. Three ways to the flop. Did Z fish call the jack three? No, no, Z no. Fish no. Folded. That's what uh, I thought, AJ yeah. called as well, yeah. Three ways to the flop. Jack six, seven. Great flop here for Dunn. Yeah. Get the open old ended. open ender. OFC going to take a stab at it. Hey, he's going to meet some resistance here. Definitely that. I see AJ even peeling with the seven. Top kicker. Yep, yeah. he's gonna peel it too. For an ace or a seven on the turn. Yeah. Does have the best hand at the moment. Deuce of hearts. Now the pot's a little bloated. Let's see if OFC's gonna take another stab at it. Kind of tough with three-way action. Yeah, it's tough. Very dynamic board yep. here. Checking. He's going to check his equity be done. Be done, making the best of it. It's a nine. I'm got to assume this is going to go check, check, check. Yeah, I think so. It's one. Check. Yeah, oops, oops, and B Dunn's going to check. And B Dunn's going to take it down. Nice hand. Yep, there it is. Very nice hand. And B Dunn. We'll be done with that pot. But not done with the game. <laughs> <laughs> Will be done here. Occupation, oil, and gas. He's been playing poker for 20 years. Favorite game, no limit hold'em. Best poker achievement, 2022 WSP main event, 142nd place. That's nice. It's a nice deep run. That's like usually day five, day six. Yeah, main. that's pretty yeah. deep. Pretty deep run. Yeah, my best main event achievement was uh, probably, I don't know, out 8,937th 8, on day one. <laughs> How many times have you played it? Only once. Only once? Yeah. When did you play? Uh, good question. 2013. 2013, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Greg Merson won in 2012. He's from close to where I'm from. Oh, okay. Um, nice. I'm actually friends with his best friend. Uh, uh, Greg Merson's best friend. I'm friends with one of his best friends. Okay. Tony yeah. Gregg or uh, someone? Not, someone that's not famous. But okay, I got yeah. you. I got you. Uh, I know who Tony is. I never yeah. met Tony. Yeah. Um, but there's another gentleman that's one of his, like, really good friends that, okay, that cool. I know. Yeah. They're all from, you know, a lot of those guys are from close to where I'm from. Yeah, that's a great, uh, like, I think they all went to Ma University of Maryland or up there. Greg's from Laurel, where it's actually where I met my wife is uh, lived in. Okay. Uh, Laurel, Maryland. Uh, I met Greg in 2013 at the World Series. Real nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, I remember meeting him actually the year that he won the main. A buddy was staying at his house. Okay. And it was before he even won the 10K6 Max. Really? So I remember he went deep in a bracelet event. I think he finished like fifth. And he was telling us how he, he rarely ever plays tournaments. So he'll probably like, that's probably like one of the few chances he'll ever have at winning a bracelet. Wow. And then he just wins two like, that's like three weeks later. What a run. <laughs> yeah. He ships the 10K6 max and then the main event, like back that's to back. So that nice. was a sick run. 
But I remember watching that final table. is is a very impressive performance. Yeah, and it seems like you're a tournament player yourself. Yeah, I played the main event six times. Wow. I've actually busted out the first two levels three times, and I've cashed the other three times. <laughs> so I've eaten there. Well, you're three and three. Yeah. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> Not so bad. Yeah, I made it to day five twice. That's nice yeah. to run that far. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. I'm hoping to maybe play it again this year so yeah it's the best tournament to play it especially is. for a cash game player i feel like it really um the first couple days i feel like it really favors the cash game it players that are used yeah. playing deep stack it's incredibly fun yeah. i love the tournament it's like z fish seven eight missed it the jd flopping top air here jd flopping the best of it it's like carlos was the initial razor JD, JD bet 250 and OFC called with the gutter. Turn ace. I think OFC is going to check fold most likely. I mean, he might he might do something crazy and check raise the turn. But I think. You might see JD check back. Yeah, check, check. Yeah. And just a three. Yeah, I guess JD checks the river as well. Yeah. Nice hand for JD. Taking down his first pot tonight. I think you're going to play uh, the main event again this year? I'd like to, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to play it. Planning on it. We went last year um, for the entire eight weeks, and it was a grind, man. Yeah, really, I couldn't really imagine really staying that long. That's, that's yeah. exhausting. Yeah. Definitely Every time exhausting. I've just gone for the main, I feel like you have an advantage because so many people have been there so, you know, the whole time. Yeah. And you're coming in fresh. You're excited to play the main. Yep. You know, you haven't been playing that many tournaments, and it's just nice to – every time I've gone in just for the main, I've done a lot better than – Than just you know, kind of being, yeah, there, being there already. Yeah, the whole time. Right. I know. I, w I would it's, feel like I'm just It's easy to get exhausted. burnt out. Yeah. yeah it is. Tournaments, it is. Are tournaments are a long, long grind. Yes. They, are, they can be really rough, and yeah. that's something I never scored in. And especially as a cash game player, you're used to winning most of your sessions. Yes. So tournaments, you're, like, always losing. Yeah. <laughs> you're playing to the end of the day and yeah. still losing. <laughs> that part's not fun. Uh, B done, two sevens, raise up, 100 quarter, money maker, king 10 of clubs, calling 100 and a quarter. Z fish. Yeah, Z fish getting in. Yep. Definitely getting in there for the 100 and a quarter. Like we're going to have some Texas heads up here. Yep. This game's playing relatively mild from what, uh, what I'm used to seeing. I don't see the 50 on a lot. I just see the 25. But I like the game. Five ways to the flop. Moneymaker does flop top pair. Be done two sevens. Going to see that. Yeah, you're going to see that here. <clears throat> Moneymaker definitely going to continue top pair. Backdoor flush draw. Yeah. We'll probably see Habib PL1 as well, this middle pair. He's got a backdoor straight draw. Habib with 5 4. Yep. Does call the 275. Five of clubs would be an interesting turn. It would be. How about the seven of hearts? Look, look at that card. Oh, my be gosh. Done. Be done checking here. And Moneymaker is bamboozled with this turn. Moneymaker very Checks widely checked. Mm -hmm. and, and 600. Yeah. Habib. What is going on? Yeah, be taking a shot at it, sensing some weakness. <laughs> and um, be done is very happy to see that bet. Yes, he, he's got to love his hand here. Yeah. Got a uh, Eliandra Tasson in the chat. Is that your wife? Yeah, that's my wife. Nice. Is where's she at? I didn't see her. Says here just to say hi, and you guys are doing a great job in the Oh, beer. thank you. Hi, Ellie. Thank you very much, Ellie. Hope, hope the sun's doing well. Let's see. King ten close six hundred to call. Calls at six hundred. What do you think Moneymaker's going to do here? It's a really tough gonna fold. It's a really tough spot for him. He might find a fold here. <clears throat> Given that B done raise pre flop and bet the flop and is check calling the turn, I think most of his kings are better than money makers. So. Mm -hmm. Oh and my What a gosh. terrible river for Habib. This He's is going to be an all in. Really running into Habib it tonight. Sure. Yeah, he is. Getting really unlucky to spike that four. He's going to put it all in here and not know he has the worst of it. And this lead might save Habib some money here. Um, if Habib just calls. 1,800. Yeah. And he's just shoving it. He is it. shipping it right yeah. in the sevens full. He is bamboozled and doesn't even know it. 
Oh, brutal, brutal. That is brutal absolutely river there brutal for Habib. River. That was the worst case scenario for uh, him. So for lucky. Sure. Great. Uh, yeah, perfect run out there for B Dunn. Get yeah. paid off. What can what can you do? Sometimes you're the bug. Sometimes you're the windshield. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, nice hand there for B Dunn. Let's check out our uh, cumulative winnings here. B Dunn now in the lead, 8,500. 8,500. Moneymaker up 4,300. OFC up 2,600. And um, <clears throat> everyone else in the red. I think Khabib's not showing up, but he probably is rebuying. Yeah, it looks like he did. Yeah. Giving Moneymaker some uh, trash talk there. He hasn't played a hand since quads. And Habib just ripping in his 2,000 here with Ace Queen. He says, let's He's like, go. I want it back, boys. Let's go. I'm ready to double up. Hoping someone thinks he has Jack 4. Because yeah. I think they're playing the Jack 4 game, according yeah. to what I saw earlier. Looks like he's just going to take it down. He is. Oh, my mom's in the chat. Shout out my mom, Kelly14. Hey, nice. Hi to all. Hayden, you sound great as usual. I love listening to you. Thank you, mom. <laughs> 65. Thank you for being here with us. 65 viewers in the chat now. We're getting up there a little bit. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I am Gator, and this is Hayden14. What's up? The other Italian, my fellow Italian in, yeah. the, in the booth here. Got two Italians tonight. We're kind of like mm -hmm. the Mario Brothers of Poker House right now. <laughs> Next time we gotta bring pasta. Bring, bring pasta. <laughs> Do you eat your pasta with a spoon or you just use a fork? Fork. Fork, yeah. Are you a fork too? Uh, I like to do the spoon twirl. You like yeah. to do the spoon yeah. twirl? <laughs> you know, I, I, from looking at me, I eat it either way. <laughs> so. <laughs> a beep. Uh, ripping, ripping it in it there. Again with Ace Jack. Ace Jack. Taking it down. <laughs> All right, 40 at a time. Yep, <laughs> 40 at a time. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see it 2,000 at a time, but we'll take 40. Yeah. OC 34%, but Habib's 50%. Pre-flop raise, Habib leading the pack here, 26%. Yes, JD he 18, OFC 15. Some people pretty low. Carlos 5, Brass Monkey 7, mm -hmm. Moneymaker 7. They've been fairly card dead, aside from quads. Right. <laughs> Just that. It's like you have quads and then you're card dead. <laughs> I'd take flopping quads once a I'll, session I'll take it, yeah. and winning all, and the max, all yeah. kinds of money and then yeah. not having anything. Once a day. Carlos calling the 145 ace five close. OC raised to Jack Nine also. J D seven three hearts calling the hundred. Three ways to flop. Ace deuce five. Carlos flopping top two. Yeah, Carlos smashing it here. Yeah. Um JD with the gutter. OFC with the air, but this is a board. Carlos is gonna lead out here into both players. I think this is probably going to get it done here. Yeah. I mean, unless OFC's thinking he's going to do something crazy on the turn, which yeah. he should just be folding his hands. OFC could definitely decide to do something creative. Uh, yeah, I've seen some creative stuff. But he looks like he's going to let it go. <laughs> he looks like he's going to let it go. I've seen Having a really hard things. time with it. He is, he's got pocket nines, oh, yeah. he says. He, he like <laughs> never tells the truth about <laughs> Like the running joke. Does anybody ever tell the truth? Some people do. It's funny because OFC will like have three streams in a row where he lies every time. Right. And then he'll have one stream where he just tells the truth <laughs> the entire time. And nobody believes him. 
Larry way out in the chat says, so Hayden is John Leguzamo Leguz and Gator is Bob Hoskin. <laughs> Do you know who those guys are? I know who John is. Okay. Are um, they like uh, actors? Actors, okay. Yeah. Um, I can see. What movie is he referring to? I don't know. Let us know what movie you're referring to, Larry. Z fish, pocket deuces. The ducks. Couple of ducks. OC King Six of Clubs. Carlos, you're not gonna fold. This could be Carlos's shot. If we got a uh, three clubs out there. This could be the shot. Carlos's redemption. Be done. Be done. Get in there. Getting in the mix. He's gonna call. All right. Let's see a juicy flop. The Mario <laughs> Brothers movie. Oh. <laughs> You did reference them. <laughs> I did I reference them. <laughs> Ace five. So. Carlos called 100. So OC let out there. And picking up a good card. Yeah, good card for him to barrel here. Yeah. And it's going to put Carlos in a tough spot with his now third pair. How much is that bet? Was it 175 or five? Okay, 175. That small bet. More sense. <laughs> he said donks. <laughs> he said dorks. It's oh, the Mars dorks. Brothers movie dorks, yeah. Lego with the sense of humor. Yeah, Lego. Always a comedian in the chat somewhere. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Lego. I'm having fun with you. And look at this. OFC getting the four clubs on the river. Gosh, and OFC's run out against Carlos continuing. But this board is really bad for Carlos, so I don't see him uh, paying off in this spot. No, I don't either. Never mind. Oh, we missed 400, and Carlos makes the call. What, what do I know? Yeah, and Carlos is going to see that OFC did get there. Going Unreal. runner, runner straight. Unreal. Nice hand there for OFC. Getting value. And the perfect bet size on the river. Jack it off this not so bad. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on in this hand. Sea fish, nine eight offsuit, fifty to call. Hundred gun plus one. Looks like he gave it up. And money maker. Raising small blind jack seven R's. Jay yeah, aggressive Gold. raise. It is. Brass monkey king five habib. He's not going anywhere. Hundred dollars six five offsuit. It's a bargain. Ah, he's defending a straddle right. in the position. He's only got he's only gonna call hundred more. Yeah. I like the play. <laughs> Moneymaker. Wow. Flop what a, in the world. What a dream flop here for Moneymaker. How do you do it? And Habib taking the bait. Right in the here. trap. Interesting to see if Moneymaker will go for the check raise or check call here. Mm -hmm. I think either option is very valid. Um Habib's stack is very short, so he's just calling. Yeah. Lock it up for Moneymaker. What a turn card here. Habib wisely checks back. And if Moneymaker checks this river again, Habib might go for the bluff here. You think so? Yeah. Habib doesn't like to give up on pots. Moneymaker's going to go for the big size, though. And uh, Habib's going to wisely get away from the hand. Oh, yeah. I Habib did get there to not shut down. Very interesting to, to shut down. see uh, Moneymaker had checked on the river. Yeah, either a check or like a small blocker bet might induce a raise. That could be interesting. Uh, so his grandpa would be proud, maybe right there next to you. 
Yeah, my grandpa was a big gin player. Oh, and, really? Yeah. He was a big gin player. Yeah, big, great gin player, and he uh, he also was a great golfer. Did a lot of gambling on the golf course. So, okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So it was funny, like the card playing skipped a generation. Like my dad and um, his brothers were all terrible at cards. Really? Yeah. So, so it skipped a generation. It skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm terrible too. I just thought yeah. <laughs> but he was when I took when I took an interest in cards. He was very surprised. But really? <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, but he's had great cards since. Let me see here. OC raised up king queen off suit. Carlos got three deuce of spades. Beeb in there. Ace eight off. Z fish ten seven of spades. And AJ, I assume, is probably going to make the call here, closing the action. Yeah. No. Five ways to flop. Texas heads up, they call it. Nine seven jack two clubs. What do we have here Z fish flopping a pair. He's got the only pair. Oh, C's got two overs and a gut shot. Is anybody just going to take a stab here? I see Z-Fish lead out here at the best hand. Yeah. This will probably get it done. It should, except OSC's probably going to make a call here. Yeah, he does with yeah. the overs. Mm-hmm. 300. B getting out the way. Four spades on the river. Z-Fish checking. OSC checking back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ten draw something. Yeah, a ten and a seven. Just yeah. a, a ten, the something was the seven. Yeah. <laughs> so he was obviously he's like, if I hit that ten, I get some value. Right. And how long ago did you take an interest in cards? Oh, I've been playing since I'm 33. I've been playing since I was like 15. Okay, so Start, we're about took, the same age. Yeah, I'm 34. Yeah, I took an interest in high school. Okay. Yeah, I started playing and we would play like a game. Um, like a couple times a week, me and my friends would play like five and ten dollars sink goes, and right. I would usually win like 40, 50 bucks mm -hmm. each session. So I remember I wanted to quit my job at the pizza place because I was making <laughs> making about like three hundred dollars a week, and I was like, well, I could probably make like close to that if I went with right. Bunker. You're weighing out the option. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. What about you? You started playing in. In high school as well. No, yeah. I actually started playing after high school. It's kind of funny. Uh, my dad was a big losing gambler, and um, he played a lot of blackjack, and he got into poker when I was about 17, and he got me into poker, and I was very against gambling. Really? Yeah, because my dad lost a lot of money. Okay. Um, I think Lifetime, he would tell you five or six million. Oh, wow. When he was stuck. Oh, wow. Yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, mainly on blackjack. Um, he played a lot of high limit blackjack. I got God you. rest his soul now, but oh, um, that's why rest in peace. <clears throat> yeah, and he uh, but he got me into gambling, and I was very against it. But when you I, I won, I remember played the tournament. When I was 18 years old. I won 5,500 at home game. Oh that yeah, that felt like a million. Felt like you were set for felt like you were set for life. Oh yeah, I felt like I hit yeah. the lottery. Yep. that was the end of that. Yeah, <laughs> I was poisoned after that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Habib here at eight six of spades, jamming it in there with top pair. AJ just king jack of hearts. Yeah, doing the stop and go here. He called the raise pre flop, and he's a little over a pot size jam here on the, the old flop. stop and go. Old stop and go, and putting AJ in a tough spot. He's got two overs and backdoor flush draw. But he's probably gonna let this one go. Levi, that's my uh that is my brother. Oh, what's up, Levi? What's up, Levi? Glad to see you here. Oh, you're working hard out there. Probably got a couple parlays going. Let me know how they're doing. How many siblings do you have? I have four. Four, okay. Mm -hmm. Two and two. Two on my dad's side, two on my mom's side. Levi's on my mom's side. Okay. All, all brothers, or you have uh, two brothers, two sisters. Two brothers, two sisters. So I got cool. one brother, one sister, one side, and then the other two on the other side. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. I have two, two younger brothers. Oh, really? Yeah. One Are they plays play poker. poker one does. One the other does. one doesn't. Yeah. Okay. The middle one does. Um, he lives in Colorado now. He actually won a big tournament in Florida. He had like a hundred really? K score, wow. maybe like Very yeah, nice. seven years ago. Yeah. He actually had a bigger score than me for a while. I recently beat him last year. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> now now he's gonna come back and beat you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he's in he's in real estate now, so that's his main main focus, but he does still play play right. poker. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good player. The only family members that played poker with me was my dad, 
my dad's brothers, my uncle, uh, my cousin, and my other brother. We were the only ones that played. The rest of my family didn't play poker at all. Actually, nobody else gambled. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have, a, you know, like a, a game, and we would, we'd all play against each other, and I would always think, I can't wait till they come over so I can uh, win myself some new video games. Yeah. <laughs> when I was Easy like 18 money. years old. <laughs> Look at these suckers coming in the door. <laughs> yeah. Pizza and video games on them tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Be up $130 thinking I won like 5000 Yeah, I know. <laughs> I remember the feeling. It was so fun, though. Yeah, good times. There was nothing more fun than uh, beating your family out of money. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why I liked it, but I did. I always did too. It was, it was just something about like. I remember I beat I beat my uncle pretty bad one time when he was in town. We really? played like a bunch of heads up St. goes. Right. I beat him like five times in a row. I oh think, my I think God. I won like a hundred bucks. It was like twenty a pop. Right. And he was like, he was like demoralized because he couldn't believe that I was just like crushing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. I used to and play I my thought, I thought up I a lot. I just hit the lottery. Because <laughs> yeah, I was you think like, you hit the lottery. Like, 100 bucks is so much money to me. And, I know. remember those days. Yeah. I never forgot where I came it from. So fun. It was a lot of fun. I wish my family was still here to play one more, uh, one more game with them. <laughs> Can't get those memories back. Let's see what else is going on. We got up to 58 viewers in the chat. There we go. B done. Ace Queen of Hearts coming in. Nice hand. Plus one. Raising it 150. I like it. Brass Monkey getting in there. Seven yep. five clubs. Z Fish getting in there. I mean, he's probably going to put a three back. Oh, he is putting the squeeze in. I like it. Here we move. go. And AJ with two eights. A couple of snowmen. Yeah. Interesting to see what he's going to do here. This might be snowing in Texas today if he calls. Hit a little eight. He's going to no. let it go. He's, he's got a lot of players behind him still. He he's got an early position raiser and to worry B about. Dunn's the one that raised. Yes. I think we're going to see B Dunn at least call here. Yeah. Or maybe B Dunn might raise back, but I think he's just going to call. All right. Brass Monkey getting out of the mix for the extra 500. 1535 in the skillet. We got a hand brewing now. Oh, no. Oh, 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 okay. my gosh. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. So this is a. This is an interesting spot because it's a really good board for Z Fish to represent. It smashes yeah. his range. And B Dunn flopping. And B Dunn's got the top two. And he's got the exact type of hand that uh that Z Fish is trying to represent. Which exactly. is always a nice spot to be in in these so, three bet pots. I love that B Dunn's probably gonna make a call here. I would like to see him just call. Yeah, but it looks like he's getting raising yeah. chips. And this is probably gonna get Z Fish out of the way here. Yep. <laughs> And B Dunn might think maybe he's leading out with an ace, maybe he's leading yeah, out with a Yeah, he's got a hand like ace king. There's a lot of hands he can get value from. Yep. But a Z Fish definitely has a lot of air ball hands like this as well. So Yeah. I, I think I, I might just call. I like even it. though it's a draw like heavy board, just to try and keep the ball. It's heads hand. up. It's not yeah. it's not five ways. Mm -hmm. I like the call. Um and Z, oh my Z gosh. Fish. What do we I don't know? understand this. <laughs> I don't understand this, except for Z Fish is going to okay. do something wild on the turn. Yeah, Z Fish has uh, very devious intentions here. He has to. Let's see what he does here. He, is he going to go for a check raise and just ship it? Yeah, maybe he thinks that B Dunn might slow down if he raises the flop with like a flush draw. And uh, this is a huge bet. Oh, 5,000. 5,000, yeah. yeah. The pot size bet, and it's going to get Z Fish off the hand. Yeah, Z Fish definitely has some intentions to take it away there. Yeah, I think if he gets a if he bets a weak bet on the turn, that's yeah. not five thousand. He probably has an intention. Might have check raised, yeah. yeah. The only thing I can think of with the call on the flop, unless the graphics were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah interesting hand there. Nice hand there for B Dunn. And he's our big winner so far tonight, up over 10,000. Wow. Moneymaker up 48, OFC up 28. Brass Monkey down 205, AJ down 1,800. Yep. Carlos, JD, and Z Fish at the bottom of the pack. I think, uh, and P Dunn with two kings. Yeah, he's been running hot. He is. Ever mm. since that uh 
And he kind of earned that action with that line he took against um, Oh, no. Khabib. Yeah, now Brass Monkey. He's got two jacks, a couple yeah. of Johnnies. Rough, uh, rough spot here for Brass Monkey. Mm-hmm. Going to three bet to 450. Yeah, putting in the three bet. Very reasonable with the jacks. And I assume OFC. And OFC does OFC? not like the fold hand. No, like he doesn't. He's in the big blind. He's thinking, man, can I get a good flop with this hand? But he's going to let it go. Yeah, he's got an under gun raiser behind him. It's a tough spot there. Very. And I think we're going to see B Dunn coming for a four bet here. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's going to be like an auto four bet for And there it is, yeah. It was really fast. Wow, that's a huge sizing. Good Lord in heaven. And that sizing might allow Brass Monkey to get away from this hand. Yeah, it, it's hard for me, the way that Brass Monkey's been playing, to think that he's going to put the whole 5K in 4K. he wisely gets away from it. With, with, with two yeah, chances. Yeah. Nice fold there from Brass Monkey. Losing the minimum in that spot. Let's pull up Brass Monkey here. Yeah, 21% BPIP tonight, 8% pre-flop raise, 25% went to showdown, and 25% aggression frequency. Yeah. Sitting on $4,300. Do you think his name is from uh, the BC Boys? Yes. It is it from is. the BC I've Boys? Them, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I specifically asked him that. <laughs> I would assume that's what it was from. Yep. Yeah, he's a pleasure to play with if you ever get the chance to play with him. Really fun to have at the table. Nice. Yeah, him and Carlos are a good combination. They both like to crack a lot of jokes. Mm -hmm. It's funny because on stream, you don't really hear Carlos, but when you play with him on the table, he's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I've heard some funny stuff. Yeah. I, sat, I sat beside him last week, and yeah. I was laughing. Carlos gets me laughing. Yeah. Carlos with 9 to 5 offsuit. And where are we? Be done, 8 6. And AJ. Yeah, flopping tens of deuces here. The old toil. Yeah. Makes a small bet. And uh, we're going to see B done call here. He does. I mean, if you're in Texas with Texas Dolly Hand, how do you not play it? Get a flop Fl like that. Get a flop like that. <laughs> did it go check check on the turn? It looks like it did. It's interesting. One and a quarter. Yeah, B Dunn's gonna pay this off. Yeah. AJ gonna drag in a nice spot there. So AJ Nimer, he's a co-owner of Texas Cars. He's been playing poker for 20 years. Favorite game, No Limit Hold'em. Style of play, game dependent. Best poker achievement, 2022 WPT Venetian, 4,600 buy-in, 12th place for 71,000. Really nice. Very nice. I could see him having success in a tournament with his style. I like the guys that up. play absolutely reckless in cash games. They really can run up stacks in tournaments. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> They're scary. Yeah. Sometimes I want to be like, can you start the tournament and I'll finish it for you? <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> you imagine Habib's aggression in a big tournament. Oh, he would accumulate a huge A stack. massive amount of chips. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Four diamonds. OC flopping a piece of it. Five four spades. Turn an ace. JD's going to stab at it. What do you think about OC here? You think he's going to call the 200? Yeah, I definitely yeah. think he's going to call at least one. I could see that, right? Mm. It's less likely that JD has an ace. The river's a nine of spades. And I guess check, check here. Yeah, nice hand for OFC there. JD gave him the old, hey, I got it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> but he but he didn't have it. <coughs> yeah, 
You ever, uh, you ever, you ever been bluffing and get called and just slam your cards over like you want? I used to do that. I did that. I couple used times. to do that. Yes. <laughs> I've had people like almost mock. They're like looking like. They're like, what? What is he what doing? Do you, yeah. What do you have? <laughs> they're like confused. They're like, what <laughs> yeah. is that? Yeah. I've kind of, yeah, I've kind of, I, I do like that approach. It is I funny that approach. Yeah. Uh, I knew a guy that played a lot of hands, and when he was bluffing, he'd go all in and get called, and he'd just slam him over like he had the stone nuts. Yeah. And I'd laugh. He'd put, he'd even take a dollar and stick it on top of the chip, Give on top the, of the cards, yeah. like like he won the pot. What do you think about like, have you ever been bluffing on the river, and like pre tipped the dealer? Like you shove, the, you shove, and you, yes. get, you throw the dealer five. Yeah. I've seen that move I've a lot, that too. and I feel like it's usually that they have it. But right. I feel like if you're bluffing, it's like it's so good, it's an awesome, awesome move. Uh, I can't think of much things I haven't done when I was <laughs> bluffing. <laughs> I love the, uh, I think that that's strong. That's strong there. It's like B down's gonna come in for an ISO raise here. <laughs> Eight four clubs moneymaker in the big blind ten eyes spades. Yeah, interested to see. Moneymaker just calling here, and JD's definitely gonna come in with the squeeze here. With yeah, the king. he's got ace king offsuit. Yeah, JD's been waiting for this spot. He's looking at his traps right now, and he's got chewing that gum. He's got two flush draws. He's got the club and the diamond. Yep. <laughs> People usually ask me, "You like ace king suit or ace king offsuit better?" Mm -hmm. Well, I like the offsuit. Obviously, I got two flush draws. Right. <laughs> Obviously a joke, but I'd much rather have it suited in Moneymaker. Yeah, everybody's going to fold. Nice hand there for JD. Why did you get flashbanged? Pull up JD. He's an electrical engineer. Uh -huh. He's been playing poker 15 years. Favorite game, No Limit Hold'em. Style of play, loose aggressive. Best poker achievement, being able to play high stakes poker. Okay, let's go. Yeah. JD is a crusher. <laughs> and what do you think constitutes as high stakes? Where do we start the high stakes line? I'd say this is high stakes. This is definitely. Yeah. I think the Saturday game has become high stakes. It is. Five and a quarter. Yeah. Big. Ed said the um, table last Saturday had over 80K on the table for yeah. 5 five ten. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's really 5 five ten twenty five. It is. Right? Yeah. And it, the, the labels don't mean anything. Yeah. It's always usually a bit bigger here in Texas. Um, and we got AJ with Ace Queen, Seafish, King Five of Diamonds. I think we're stuck on <laughs> stuck on something. Shameless plug there. <laughs> asking what moneymakers patches. <laughs> Sean, thanks for asking. <laughs> so, does he get a new patch? Is it a new patch every stream? I don't know if he just has it on that shirt or he has different patches. I'll have to ask him. I mean, I've had the pleasure of putting it on once. Oh, you did put that on? Yeah, he told me put it on once, okay. though. I have experience putting it on. Okay, so I'm sure he has a bunch of patches that you brought with him. It must be a bunch yeah. of them, right? He said the, the owner of the app is a good friend of his. So. Oh, okay. And uh, JD coming in with back-to-back -back three bets here, three betting moneymaker, the ace jack. And interesting spot here, AJ just limped the ace queen. Mm-hmm. So kind of a tough spot JD after a moneymaker raise and a JD three bet. Yeah. He does lay it down. I don't blame him. I don't blame him either, and I think Moneymaker's going to get away from it as well. So JD, yeah. with the aggression, is going to take it down. Like the three bet there from JD. Yeah. <clears throat> That's twice in a row he's had a decent hand to raise with. Ace-King and then Ace-Jack. Some people would say 510 starts the high stakes, but I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe the 10 and a quarter does. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's kind of relative to how the game plays. There's that. And yeah. the buy in. And I mean, some of the two five games in town are, like high in stakes. my opinion, high stakes. I agree. Yeah. Because you can buy them for a lot of money. You can straddle for 25, or if there's unlimited straddles. All um, right. <clears throat> I believe shipping in with two nines. Yeah, I think we're going to see Moneymaker call here. <clears throat> And we're going to be off to the races. Mm -hmm. 
This can be the uh, the start of Habib's run up. This could be. I'm rooting for Habib this this one. <laughs> oh, that's a rough. Oh, that good flop, great flop for Habib. But the yeah, it's a good flop for Habib. Now that's an even better turn. Even better turn. And he's and make the straight. Lock it up with that hand. Very nice hand. Yeah, I would agree because sometimes I've seen blinds, you know, oh, this is a 1-2 game, and people buy them for 10000 Yeah, and if the game's playing big, right? I say in Texas uh, that the blinds don't really matter. No, they people, don't. Some people are like, you're playing 1-2, you're playing 1-3. Yeah. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. They, it doesn't matter. They, I say they could play 0-0 zero, zero blinds, and the game would play. <laughs> the game would be just as much action. We don't need blinds. Yeah, and I personally, I prefer the three blinds. In yeah. games, um, and the, I like the four blinds that happens on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm definitely a big advocate for the small, big, and the auto straddle. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people hate the straddle because they're like, "Oh, what well, makes the game bigger?" And the game is not advertised as two five; it's actually two five ten because everybody puts a straddle on. But I guess nowadays, just know that when the stake says two five, just know that there's an auto ten, and when the stake says five ten, there there's an auto quarter. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah. Every game is just a step bigger it's than advertised. Every game, everything is bigger in Texas. That is true. <laughs> yeah. And I've seen other games play that way, but in Texas, it's pretty much a standard. Yeah, I think most of the most of the players that are regulars, they already know to expect that. Yeah. Sea fish with a couple of ducks. AJ five four Carlos Ace King, even the the one two here plays more like two five. Yes, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three nine ten, not really hitting anyone. Z fish with the best of it. AJ's been getting in the mix. Yeah, he's leading out on this board. <laughs> Carlos gonna float with the two overs. He's not a believer. Let's see if Z fish peels one off. I think yeah. fish did fold. Oh, he does? Oh, no, he, he did call. He did, okay. Mm hmm. Turns at nine. Yeah, AJ fi following through again on the turn and taking it down. Mm -hmm. Love the aggression there. Yeah, he he's not giving up. I guess you could safely say that when you're playing for thousands of dollars, that would constitute as high stakes. I mean, I would say so. I, I think, think it's, it's, no relative. it's no longer friendly, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We're out for blood at that point. Right. But uh, I, yeah, I think it's all relative. Yeah. I mean, I to someone like, you know, Garrett Adelstein, these would be considered low, low stakes, stakes, right? Yeah. But it's definitely not, you know, right. low stakes game. What he's playing in his next right. bleeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Do you have a favorite poker player? Um, I like Garrett Adelstein. I do. I'm impressed. Like he's he fun to watch. Yeah. Um, you know, I think him. Um, I was always a big fan of Phil Ivy. I never I got was to too. meet Phil Ivy. Yeah. I met Phil Helmuth once. Yeah. He was very nice to me. One guy that I liked watching play that was interesting was um, uh, Jean Robert Belland. Oh yes. He was always he was always interesting yeah. to watch. He's a big, big personality. Yeah, that, that's the one thing I like. The guy. He actually ruined my life. Uh, I I made day five of the main the first year I played 2011. Uh -huh. He was we were on the future table together. Really. And, and he he uh, he turned trips against me in a big pot. He got paid. Wow. And then I ended up busting out like uh, you know like an orbit later. So. Really. Yeah, that's my memory with him. <laughs> Brutal. But I do I do like watching him play. He is, he is entertaining to watch. I like the entertaining players. The guys that play crazy a little bit. The guys that talk. Yes. Um, the guys that keep it interesting. For sure. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to have a confrontation here. OFC putting the squeeze on with the nines. And Carlos with Ace King. Carlos with Ace King. So I'd like to see Carlos get aggressive here, but he does just call a lot of times with these... Uh, these ace king, ace queen hands. Right. So let's see what happens here. Queen 10 6. 
Oh, see. Do you think he continues the aggression? Pretty, pretty rough flop for him. How much? He goes for a really tiny bet, just 200. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Carlos just going to call. I don't blame him. I definitely getting the right price. Oh my here. gosh. What a beautiful turn for OFC. OFC said, watch this. I'm bet 200 on a turn of nine. Yeah. Interested to see what he's going to choose here, sizing wise. He goes Eight. for 800. A little less than one third, a little more than one third pot. One third pot. Tough spot here for Carlos. Oh, yes. I think Carlos is going to be forced to fold here at this point. Um, yeah, I think on this turn he can get away from the hand. Some of yeah. OFC's bluffs came through. Um, Carlos isn't beating a whole lot here, given no. the pre-flop action. He's yeah. really only beating a hand like Ace Jack. Yeah, it's the only hand I can think of. He's just beating a stone bluff at this point. And he is going to make the call. Man, a Jack would be an insane card. But would probably oh, slow the action down. This king, might slow down a little bit, though. The king is a very, very bad card yeah. for a boat for a OFC. Yes. Um, bad card for Carlos, too, because if wow, OFC bets OFC here, Carlos is going to call. Yeah, going for value. And I really like this here. Oh, because Carlos did uh, cold call the three bet pre flop, I don't think Carlos has very many straights here. A really only hand like pocket jacks. Yeah. So I think OFC might be correctly deducing that Carlos is likely to have a hand like Ace King. And oh he gosh. does get value. He does. Wow. And um, well played hand there by OFC. Unfortunate river card for Carlos. Very unfortunate river. Yeah. God, OFC is just, he really impresses me sometimes. Very well played hand. <laughs> he does some interesting stuff, that's for sure. He is definitely creative. Pull him up here. He's a occupation smoke shop owner. Been playing poker for 15 plus years. Favorite game, no limit hold'em. Style of play, game dependent. Best poker achievement, winning poker player for 15 plus years. So it looks like he's been winning since he started. That's very impressive. Yeah, I wonder if he's always played this way. Yeah, you know, I been playing with him for a little over a year now and he has changed his game up a lot the last year okay and it's been interesting to see i think he's improved a lot the last year um i think he was definitely good before but he i think he played a lot of home games before right so he had kind of a unique style and he's adjusted to some of the better players and professionals that he's played with right um i think he plays each opponent really really well Mm -hmm. So yeah. he's very impressive. I like the way he plays. Yeah. And the guys that always say their style is game dependent, I think, are the most dangerous. Uh, Would you say your style is game dependent? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to I like to play that way. Yeah. I, I don't I don't like to play one way of poker. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, there's poker's an opinion, right? So that's the way that I feel. Now, there, there's bad opinions and there's good opinions. <laughs> right. But, but You don't always have great opinions. So. Yeah, I, I'm not great saying opinion. that I have a great opinion. I'm just saying that it's, an, it's a game of opinions. It's a very um, educated hypothesis on how to play. Right. And one guy is say that he likes this. The other guy tells you something different. Right, exactly. It's very, that's what makes the game interesting. It does make it interesting. Yeah, everyone has a unique style and approach. Especially in these games, so many different styles of players. But I will say I have seen OFC playing some tougher, more pro-heavy lineups. And right. he really plays completely differently. I can um, see that. Yeah, and he adjusts very, very well. And I like to play differently according to what game I'm in. I think that changes things. If I'm playing a 1-2 game where everybody's playing relatively wild... You probably see some things you don't see me doing on here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Raising it to a thousand with these kings. Yeah, yeah. moneymaker, great hand to put the squeeze in with here. And I think this is going to get through. Is, is Zfish? Yeah, I was going to say Zfish might decide to peel because the AR, he is pretty deep with moneymaker and he is in position. That's true. And AJ might come along as well. If he uh, spikes a deuce, he's probably going to win a big pot. Yep. But he does get out of the way. Z fish with the two sixes. What do you think there? Are you peeling in Z fish spot versus Moneymaker? I think I can win 9,400, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Moneymaker's a tough person to win 9,400 from, though. So. That, that's, <laughs> that's why I'm probably not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. If I feel I can win 9,400, for sure. Um, and interesting to see Moneymaker go for a check here. And he's going to go for a check call. Yep, yeah, going to make the peel. Ace of clubs, two overs. Picked up a gut shot. Interesting turn here. Mm -hmm. it's better Z for Moneymaker's range, you think I think. think Z-Fish is going to bet again, thinking he has an ace-king holding? I don't think he's going to bet this turn card. I think he's going to check and try to get the showdown. Pot's pretty bloated. It's kind of hard to want to bet. Know? Z fish is uh, <laughs> he's, he's ready to fire. This is why <laughs> poker is a game of incomplete information. Yeah. You got a better uh, better feel for Z-Fish than I do. He's... um. He ain't scared. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he's going for it. <clears throat> Moneymaker. Brain in the blender on this one. Yeah, he's in a tough spot here. I think we're going to see him get away, though. I would assume. I, I can't see Moneymaker making it something crazy and just shoving here. If he did, it would work. I don't see how yeah. he fish could call. I can't see it not working. And he does. I he does get away from it. it. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice hand for Z fish. Well played. Let's look at the V pips here. At Habib lead in the pack, 46%. Shocker. Yep. <laughs> OFC, 35%. I'm surprised he's under 50. I am too. AJ, 32. Carlos, 30. B Dunn, 30. JD, 30. And uh, Moneymaker on the bottom there. Moneymaker and Brass Monkey. 25 and 21%, respectively. 55 viewers in the chat. And if you're viewing not from Texas, I advise you get on the Silverbird and come down here and play at Poker House Dallas. That's good advice. Great action here. Absolutely. Great games. And JD going to check the option, going four ways. A 50 must have been on that hand. Yeah, it was on limp pot, the bee flopping trips. And uh, <laughs> a bee flopping three nines. And Z fish with the open under, but he's right? got a dirty out. That queen comes. How about, a queen? How about a queen on the turn? Yeah, yeah, the bee. Bamboozled. That'd be a great card yeah. for a beam. That would make Z Fish bamboozled and not even know it. Oh, and B Dom popping top pair. Did he yeah. check fold? Looks like he might have check folded. Yeah, I think he did. Good lay down there from him. And we're heads up. Oh, oh no. And Z Fish and gets Z -fish there. Z Fish gets there. And a B with what a card nines and a queen. And with a beep stack, we might just see him go for a check. Yeah. For 700, I yeah, think a beep just put his here. money in. Yeah. Look at my face. <laughs> 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 Habib, I think he's he's here. Yeah, he doesn't have a choice. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Five. Look at this. What are you going to do? You are not going to call? You don't going to call? Queen. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! And he runs it once and oh, gets once there. And gets there. What a red wow. card there for Habib. Man, that is a game. Is the poker is a game of swings? And there it is. Habib up to thirty six hundred. I mean, Habib just not getting away from his hand. Not with 14 or 1500 there. <laughs> nice hand there for Habib. Happy to see him take down a big pot on the comeback trail here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know. Habib, I mean, that was an unlucky turn card for him. Great river card. Yeah. We're all, I mean, we're all putting the money in there with his stack. Yeah. You know, we're not full. standard spot. He's got it. Yeah. He's got it. Yeah, exactly. That's just the way it's going to be. There's a lot of worse hands there that you can get in inverse. Are all of you bots? I'm not a bot. Are you a bot? <laughs> no. I don't play. I don't play nowhere near well enough to be a bot. <laughs> Far from a bot. I always thought it'd be cool to be a bot. Let's pull up a beep here. He's a restaurant owner, owns Zelda. Playing poker for four years. Favorite game, no limit hold'em. Style of play, aggressive. I can confirm that. Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. Okay. I think that's fair. I think that's I think that's a good answer. Best poker achievement, winning 25K on a live stream. What a run. Yeah. So what's your biggest no limit winner? My biggest day. winning session. Not in a tournament, but a. Um, oh, I want to say 16K. 16? In a 10 and a quarter game. Okay. Yeah. Very and good. I was actually underage. I was playing at the Borgata. Really? I was 19. Wow. I had a fake ID. And I, um, I actually won a huge pot because I didn't see that a guy had a 5K chip. So I played. The, I thought he only had 3K. Uh huh. And he had like 8K. And I played the hand totally differently than I would have played it normally. And it worked out for you. It worked out for me. That's I awesome. got there with a, with a. I had a straight a flush draw and a gut shot with it. Yeah. At the Borgata. So what were you doing at the Borgata? Uh, so you were from Florida. I was from Florida, and I just wanted to kind of go visit up somewhere and check else? it out. Okay. Visit somewhere else. Went up there with some friends. Okay. Yeah. And I gambled. Played some. Played some poker. Hung out. It's a fun. Fun trip. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, that was one of my biggest ones. Yeah, definitely cool. I've had a few plus over 10k sessions. Mm -hmm. Those are those, those are fun. Yeah, <laughs> those are fun. What about you? What's your biggest cash game win? Um, actually, the first stream that I had here, uh, the five, five, ten, twenty-five. I think it was. 16, 20, 16, 16 or 17, 17-ish wow. maybe. That's awesome. Yeah, and that was the biggest one. I had a lot of over 10Ks. And what's crazy, I played in one, two games on the Internet where I won 12,000 in a day. Wow. A couple times, uh, 10, 11,000. Um, nobody would believe it, you know. Yeah. But the game's... you know, you're buying in for four or 5,000. That's yeah. hard to do. A lot of straddles or just big raises. Just open to 50, three bet to calls, 250, yeah. call, 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 call. I mean, gotcha. it's so like a 10 quarter game. You're essentially it's, playing this this game. Exactly. Is, yeah. Exactly what the, it is. The blinds don't matter. Yeah. And <laughs> and I would just felt like I was playing 5, 10 or 10 and a quarter basically yeah. every day. And um, yeah, I had some really big wins in that um, in that game. And which was really big for me on the Internet because I was never a winning Internet player. Right. Um, until literally like 2020. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all about game selection. <laughs> True. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't enjoy playing on the internet back when it boomed. I liked the right. live setting, and that's right. kind of where I was geared toward the social interaction. Yeah. yeah. No, de playing live is definitely more fun. Yeah. I like online tournaments, but you know. Nowadays, I like playing on the internet a lot more because I can sit home. Yeah. But I still love the, live. Your family. Yeah. yeah. Um, Money maker, king queen here, top pair. Press monkey with the ace jack. Yeah. Looks like a Z fish had raised. It's a pre-flop raiser with the deuce four clubs. And uh, and then they went four ways. Looks like Khabib's going to lead out here. Oh, he's thinking about it. <laughs> he's thinking about it. Okay, yeah, check. we're just going to check. Z-Fish going to check behind. Moneymaker turning yeah, top two. Great turn card for Moneymaker. Any check. Sneaky, Press. sneaky check. Mm-hmm. Press Monkey picking up the gut shot. Mm -hmm. And Habib. Habib with the gut shot. Going for it here. Says... 350. Let's just see if Moneymaker is going to check raise or check call here. I want to say I feel like a raise is coming. Yeah. He wants to get value from, like, you know, hands like Jack 10, 10 8, worst two pairs. Mm hmm. <laughs> shots in my head. Then fold it, fold it. Nice hand for Moneymaker. <laughs> uh, 
Zach Webb says, what site do you guys play online? I prefer to play on some of the apps, uh, like Poker 2 is the one I usually play on. Um, yeah, I, haven't played play online. I haven't really played much in the last year. I did play a good amount during the pandemic. Yeah. I played a lot of tournaments, actually. I need, on, to, uh, I need to go back games. and play in some tournaments again. Yeah. yeah. Tournaments are fun. fun. Yeah. I like them on the internet as well. You can make some really nice scores out of not yeah, much Yeah, you money. can get a lot of volume in. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Sea fish picking up a couple of fish hooks. There's three ways to play jacks. They're all wrong, right? They're all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OC Ace Nine of Clubs, three bet in the 250. See what I tell you? He raised 100. He's getting three bet already. Yeah, yeah. and Carlos gonna come up with the call here. A very playable hand. Money maker, eight four, and small blind. Thinking about something crafty. B Dunn's got has your hand. The five D suited. It does. Money maker gets out of the way. Gator would have made it 1400 there. And would have got <laughs> stuffed on. Sea <laughs> <laughs> uh, fish would have went nowhere. Seafish just going to make the call at the Jacks. Oh, see. Carlos in there. Okay. Two queens and two spades. Carlos with the nut spade draw. Oh, see. Completely whiffing it. He said that doesn't matter. I'm not playing my cards. I'm playing yours. Yeah, he's playing the player. That's right. But he's going to meet a lot of resistance on this board. He's going to meet some resistance. Yeah. I, I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if it goes call, call here for sure. Yeah, I think that's most likely going to go call, yeah. call. Pretty much. There's some benefits to raising if you're Carlos. You could get a hand like Ace King or Ace Jack to fold. Yeah, you can push those out. He and does just call. Which you is, have the spade equity. Yeah, which is a very respectable decision. And Z fish calls as well. All right. Let's see what brings in on the turn here on 4th Street. An ace on 4th Street. Wow. Ooh, oh, boy. <laughs> Just goes from zero to hero. Right. Now has the best hand. And OFC with ace nine. And Carlos isn't going anywhere with top two pair now. Not we, a good kicker, but. Might see this turn check through. Both C checks. Carlos yeah. checks. Yeah. Don't blame anyone for everyone for checking here. Five of clubs on the river. And uh, OFC, can he get some value from this and on the river? I'd be impressed if he did. But it's going to go check through. No, OFC is going to check. I mean, um, Carlos is going to check. Yeah, and Carlos yeah. Is, gonna be, is going to be very disappointed here that OFC. Uh, mm -hmm. OFC hit his miracle ace. <laughs> yeah, a miracle. He's another pot. Uh, Definite miracle. He's drawn to an ace and an ace only. The uh, the nine of spades is hurting him. The, yeah. I mean, that was the only way to pick that up was an ace. OFC, the poker magician. <laughs> you know, they, they say that as, uh, Fondiari is the magician. OFC is the real magician. OFC is the Dallas yeah, magician. He is the Dallas magician. Let's see the winnings here. Oh. B Dunn leading the pack here, up a l over 11,000. Moneymaker, uh, OFC 7,300. Moneymaker 2,700. Everyone else in the red, but we still got a long, still have a couple hours left yeah. on the stream. A couple hours left on the stream. A lot of things can change. Oh, yes. A lot of money can change hands. Yes. So you've been doing some poker content. You've had an Instagram, I see, and... Yeah, it's something I yeah um, something I just started doing. Um, my usually my feed just normal feed, uh, so I made a Instagram just for some poker content, uh, just for fun. Um, just getting into the mix of it a little bit. Uh, my wife actually told me to do it. Um, She's a smart lady. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been playing uh I've been playing full time for 14 years now. So yeah. I've never been too fond of getting exposure. Right and literally got talked into playing the stream. Yeah, well, now you're <laughs> now you're out there. People know who you are. So yeah, and I'm having fun with it. I'm having yeah. a lot of fun, with it. And, I, and I'm just I'm really grateful to be here, yeah. and really grateful to you know be able to wake up and play poker for a living and have that support from my wife. Yeah, that's that. There's you know something that money can't buy. Yeah, for sure. That's it's, clutch. It's incredible. Yeah. Um, not to say that it was easy all my life because it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's a tough way to make an easy living, that's it for is. sure. And a beep here. 
Yeah, B turn the straight. Turn the straight. O C with the A seven, and Take uh, it down. so were you? Um, did you ever make content or? Something? I haven't. I've really. I've. I definitely looked into it uh, this last year. Right. Um, consulted with some editors. I actually tried to get uh, Next Gen's editor to uh, edit for me. Mm -hmm. and he, okay. Yeah, he didn't want to. <laughs> He he kind of wanted to get out of editing, but I'm I'm very interested in creating, um, cr doing some kind of vlog or creating some content. I do do some poker coaching, mm -hmm. so I think it would help in that that realm. Why do you do poker coaching? Um, because I I just enjoy it. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. So want? it makes a little bit of additional income. Mm -hmm. I like helping um, players, you know, improve some some leaks in their game and. Mm -hmm. I just I just enjoy it. Yeah, it, it's just something. That's, that's uh, if you enjoy it, then yeah. I respect it. You yeah. know, I respect. I don't it do it just for it. the money. Right. I, I wouldn't that's do it saying. just for the money. Yeah. Yeah, and and I coached a couple people personally. Yeah. Um, to, well, I, but yeah, not I, like a wide margin. I I mean I I have four students currently, um, but I've coached some friends of mine. Yeah. Just kind of like helping them out, and I've always enjoyed it. Like I always enjoyed seeing them improve. I've enjoyed mm -hmm. like talking poker with them. Right. And it does kind of it does help your game because feels like it makes you better as well. It does, right? and and you see where other people are at in their thought processes. Yes. And a lot of that players opens that up you some face avenues. or play against. Um, you know, have similar thoughts, thought yeah. processes. So. And that opens up some avenues for sure. Yeah, you're exposed to some different ways of thinking. And a lot of times you end up learning some things from your students. That is something that I definitely have done. I've always, I'm always going to be a student of the game. Um, yeah. Z Fish here f looks like he's folding. Oh, C raising 150. And I think he's going to give up versus Moneymaker. Yeah, bet. smart and fold. Does. His hand doesn't do well against that Moneymaker no, range. No, not at all. Yeah. Um, and I remember somebody said, are you um are you good at poker? I say, oh yeah, I'm good for the game. <laughs> right. <laughs> good for the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I love being a student of the game myself. I, yeah. I don't like to say, oh you know I know everything. And, oh you no. Know, just because I'm playing this stake, doesn't mean that I know everything. Yeah. I, I don't. It's crazy. Like the more you learn about poker, the more you realize you don't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know. The game confuses me on a daily basis. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> it is. Um, <clears throat> it's it's definitely been a dream for me, and I was, you know, I'm kind of a nerd. I always was into video games and yeah. stuff like that. So, I thought maybe when I would get older, maybe I would do something with video games, or I wanted to be in um, some movie stuff, which I actually liked a lot. And so, poker's really been brought a lot of that world to me to where I'm playing a game and yeah. I'm in that atmosphere. It's like a video game, right? It's like you a video keep trying game. to level up. You keep trying to level up. Stakes, yeah. Yeah. Level up in stakes. Prove your game. It's fun. Um, Beat the end bosses. Yeah, it just sucks when, you, <laughs> when, you, when it's your turn to lose. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gets a turn. That's why people play it for money, right? That's true. People don't play chess for money because the best player wins every best time. best player wins yeah. every single time. Mm -hmm. And AJ with 2 eight, So OFC with the queen nine and JD with the ace deuce off suit. Yeah. And that's it. Chess, chess is a game of full skill. You can't you can't lose unless you make a mistake. Yeah, it's very hard for an inferior player to win right. in chess. Even yeah. though he could, but that other yeah. that better player would have to make a really big mistake. A really huge mistake, yeah. yeah. Or a few of them. Yes, a, a few of them. And which, which is almost never going to happen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And but in poker, you can play perfectly and get absolutely crushed. Yes. Yeah. Or you could also make mistakes as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that makes things worse. Sometimes you make... Um, you make a mistake at the right time and win a big pot. <laughs> I, I'm guilty of that. Yes, we all. Are. I'm not gonna lie. I'm guilty of that. It's funny. I played with a guy that he uh, he's a funny guy, and he's uh, he says I'm so bad at poker I can't even make the wrong move at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. JD with a nice value bet on the river there, taking it down. Yep. Top pair of aces. I haven't and heard much from JD tonight. He's been pretty card dead. Yeah, he's been a little quiet. Lego, you're not wrong. A lot of people suffer from Dunning-Kruger effect. They always tend to think that they're better at something than they really are. Oh, well, shout out to Mark Wee. I have done some coaching with him. Nice. So, yeah. He still insists on playing, uh, playing deuce three. On the regular, so if <laughs> he, if that's his favorite that's hand, that's his favorite hand. That's yeah. his favorite he, hand. He sent me a picture today. He'd won like four hundred dollar pot with Deuce Three. He goes, <laughs> somebody. He goes, I can do it. I said, Mark, teach me your way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite hand? Uh, pocket aces. Yours is aces. <laughs> no, I mean, 
I don't know. I, I love the suited connectors, like if I'm like seven, eight suited type right. pants. But I mean, obviously it's aces. Best yeah. hand, you know. But it's aces that, for that's you. That's a boring answer. It's not aces for me though. Yeah. No, I do get a good feeling like with like five, you know, like a six, seven suited, seven, eight suited type of hand. Right. Especially if you come in for like a three bet, mm-hmm. you know, they don't necessarily always think that hand's in your range. So right. You can rep. You can rep the high boards and on the boards yeah, that you have connect both, with you. Yeah, both ranges. The there. boards that connect with you, you can end up winning a huge pot. If they yeah. Don't think that you uh, you hit that board. So. Absolutely. And look at me flopping the open ender. Um, what oh, about you? Do you have a favorite one? Yes. What yes. is it? The winner. The win- Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Whatever one that wins. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think second. Fa- I don't know. I, I'm maybe two nines. Two nines. It, right. It's just Did a big, big pot with two nines. There's just a big joke between me and a friend with two nines um, that I'll tell you after the hand. And it looks like Khabib leading out 450 with the open ender. Moneymaker top pair. I think he's going to check call. Yeah, he's going to check call here. Oh, I was joking, man. <laughs> I was joking, he said. <laughs> he won't be joking if the turn is a six, but it's a five. So I think my maker's going to continue to check, lay the rope. And uh, 900? Habib, not slowing down. At all. Yeah. Moneymaker. Going to be in the blender on this one. Yeah, I think we're going to see Moneymaker continue with the call here. And then Habib might rip the river. Yeah, it would be a tough spot, especially on certain river cards, if he does choose to do that. And Moneymaker's making the call. I don't blame him. Yeah. Not for 900. And, boy, if the river's a six, it's a deuce. Could be a tough card for Moneymaker. Habib could definitely barrel the turn if you picked up hearts. Yeah. Could have a random deuce. It looks like Moneymaker checks in. Habib is Habib, betting. That's 1100 And Moneymaker calls. Moneymaker makes the call. Very nice hand there for Moneymaker. Well played. I think if he calls 900 on the turn, he's calling 1100 on the river, right? Exactly, yeah. The price was good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Habib's having a rough night. Things are not. He's, uh, he's missed some big draws, some big hands. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's just never fun when you're just completely whiffing it, whiffing it, whiffing it. Yeah, he's had second best in a few big pots. Yeah. But uh, he's definitely capable of uh, of uh, turning things around and booking a big winner. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're, his, you're, his it's, it's never he's, over he's till never it's out. over. Yeah, yeah, never out. Never yeah, out. never. It's not over till <laughs> it's over. He's not going to give up. He's not one to give up. We used to play in a casino um, employee's home game, and um, we used to yell 999 at the flop all the time because uh, oh. when, I, when it was a, <laughs> my friend was a Baccarat dealer, and everybody would yell, yell 999, you know, mm-hmm. they would yell 9 because I think 9, it's the only game I don't know how to deal. So I um, I think the 9 is it's a good card for them in Baccarat. Yes, the 9 is. Yeah. I think it's like the Jane card. Yeah, that it's card. A, yeah, it's a good card for them. Yeah. It's the only game I really don't know that well. And Habib going for the shove here with a Jack-5 suited. Too bad it's not the Jack-4 and he'd win the yeah. bonus money. <clears throat> he's getting action here from AJ. Yeah, and he he's, is. He's going to be OFC. Gonna be in a flip. I think OFC might put in a yeah. race. I think OFC. I've seen him do it. He might be a little concerned about AJ's flat here. Could be. But... If OFC puts in a big race here, 4,000. I think with his demeanor, I think he's, at most, he's going to call. Yeah, he's he doesn't have the demeanor of someone that's going to put in a race. <laughs> but he doesn't want to fold. <laughs> AJ pretty deep, 12,000. OFC, 14,000. Yeah, he, he just it gives it up. Yeah, it's a tough spot there. I don't blame him. Can definitely be dominated. Yeah, I mean, AJ could be trapping. If OFC had Ace King, I could definitely. See yeah, I see him putting in the race there. Trace, yeah. Can Habib oh get there? <laughs> Not a bad oh block for gosh. Habib. He hits the five, <laughs> and they're gonna trap <laughs> it up. O- OFC would have won it with the ten. With the ten, <laughs> Habib, and with the Jack five. Yep, they're chopping it up. 
And uh, unfortunately for B, things cannot dry. <laughs> Has to chop that pot. After turning the best hand. It's just how his night's been going. Was it about 49 to 1 to run the board out Turner River that one? Probably. I don't know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> seems, uh, seems unlikely. JD with the King 10. Yeah, get 75. Getting in the mix. He's tired of waiting around. I don't blame him. Habib, queen seven. He said, I'm not folding. Let's make it 275. Sea fish, queen 10. AJ on the button with the Montana banana. It's a good blackjack hand. Hope C laying down the ace 10 again. Hope C playing a little bit snug. Snug for OFC. He done with four three of spades. And this might get through here. JD usually doesn't like to defend three bets with this hand, but he's gonna he's gonna see a flop. Mm-hmm. And if JD misses, uh Habib should take the spot down. But unfortunately for Habib, JD does not miss. I don't think he missed. <laughs> And a B. It's a good board for a B to represent. Yeah, I think he might see bet it here. I could see that. He wisely checks. He does. A B drawing completely dead. The uh, 10 makes JD the full house. And, and then a B makes a call. A B the uh, straight, but that wouldn't matter. Six of diamonds. JD says, I'm not bluffing. He's telling the truth. Yeah, he showed you. Good read there from Habib to shut mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Habib has good instincts. He really does have a good feel for yeah. situations. That's why he says, look into my eyes. <laughs> Next time I play with him, I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm going to tell him to look into my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see what he sees. <laughs> so look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. <laughs> Carlos, he's queen of clubs. I'm gonna call the 195. I think Habib made it 200. I'm not sure why his name's not showing up on the screen. Yeah, somebody had to make it 200, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe there's this 200 straddle. Oh, I think Bra Brass Monkey straddled 100 and um, oh, Habib put the Habib 200 put the two on. on. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Habib. Just shoving it. <laughs> and he's just he's just going with it. Sits here. So I'd like to see Carlos Iso here with yeah. uh, this many players behind him. Well, it looks like he is just going to call. call. And that's going to invite a lot of these players in. Yes, it is. What if Habib scoops his pie here with uh, the six deuce, five ways? He's got 13% equity. That would be pretty <laughs> sick. He, he could get like a deuce, deuce board. Queen. <laughs> Give him the old deuce, deuce board. He deserves it. Deuce, deuce, six. Yeah, the old deuce, deuce, six. Three, five, four would be interesting. Ace, ten, seven. Yeah, Carlos, Carlos with the best hand here. here. Dunn and Brass Monkey both have gut shots. Habib. Gonna need runner, runner. It's probably gonna be checked through with the dry side pot. <coughs> oh yeah. Five of spades. Close, close. 
close. Yeah. Drawn dead for Beeb, unfortunately. Right, Carlos checking here, continuing to check. And a seven. No, that's going to do it. Lock it up for Carlos. Carlos is going to take down the spot. And it's going to go check around. 3,600 in the middle. Nice hand there for Carlos. Raking in a casual $3,600 pot. Yeah. Oh, and Habib. Habib's going to call tonight. Good game, Habib. Great having you. Him. Yeah. Tough night, but I think he'll be back tomorrow. I think ready so. Ready to battle. Hopefully he runs a little better. Redemption. Tomorrow. Yeah, he'll be back for redemption tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. Better not. watch out, Gator. I am watching out. <laughs> that is a man with a mission tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Habib, thanks for Always a pleasure to have you on the stream. Yeah. True Thank gentleman you for coming out and playing. Let's look at the cumulative winnings. Got B done still leading the charge here. 10, 10K, OFC up 6,600, Moneymaker up 5,800. And uh, after that car pot, Carlos making a little bit of a comeback. Mm -hmm. Down 3,200. We've still got about an hour and a half left in the stream. So when, when you play match stack, do you like to match a stack? It depends. Um, I'm comfortable usually topping up to 10K and going from there. Yeah. Um, I don't always match the stack. Right. It kind of depends on, Who's on your left the too. position, yeah. yeah, the seats, everything. Right. So if C is on my left and has a big stack, I'm probably not going to match the stack. Right. <laughs> you know? I get it. Yeah. I, I've definitely been in positions to where I can match the stack. I just choose not to match the stack. Right. Yeah. Um, some people like to do it no matter what, though. Maybe that's the way. Yeah. I know Cam, my wife, she likes to match the stack. So okay. she just wants to play as deep as possible. Right. She likes to see flops and play post-flop. Mm -hmm. And uh, she wants to be able to win all the chips. Sure. I mean, that's <laughs> yeah. definitely the and answer. I respect it, yeah. That's definitely the answer. Z-Fish with the jack nine, flopping three jacks, but nobody else has a piece of it. Except AJ Peeling one with ace-10. Uh, Larry, Habib's restaurant is not reopened yet. I think it might be closed for about another month or so. Um, but he is going to let us know when it is back open, and we will let all of you guys know. And we will definitely be there eating. I re highly recommend you guys go check it out. Yeah, it's I'm open. definitely going there for sure. Fantastic Mediterranean. Salda Mediterranean is the name of the restaurant. Really, really great food. You will not regret it. I can promise you that. <laughs> I'll almost give you a money back guarantee if you don't. Like it. <laughs> I don't even have any vested interest in it, but it's fantastic. <clears throat> I'm ready for it to open back up. Yeah, I'm ready to go there for the first time. Yeah. And Habib's taking really great care of us every time, every yeah. time we've gone. That's nice. He gives us a special menu. I just let him, let them pick. You know, oh. They give us all the, all the specials. All okay. the best things on the menu, yeah. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Money maker, nine deuce clubs. <clears throat> Sea fish gonna raise up out of the blind with the king jack. Right. I think we're definitely see AJ call here. Sea fish, king jack missing it. AJ missed gonna, it as well. He's gonna follow up here at the sea bet. Yeah. Probably take it down. Steve Fish decides to do something. I'm sorry, AJ decides to get creative, but he does let it go. Yeah, he just falls. <laughs> Lego says, I'll take that guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you won't need it. <laughs> right? Mama Moneymaker in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the chat, Mama Moneymaker. <laughs> Let us know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, a single trailer. 
Be done with Ace Nine of Hearts and the cutoff. Gonna come in for a raise, I assume. No, We're just calling. Just a call. JD Jack Ten, don't blame him. AJ, 10-9. Well, JD flopped the out-pipped uh, AJ on this one. Yeah, great flop there for JD. Oh, B-Tone's going to take a stab. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see JD and AJ make the call. AJ coming in with the raise. Very interesting. It's a dry board. I think we're going to see JD. JD, continue here. Mm hmm. Yeah. I can't see him not. <laughs> Could be in a tough spot on Future Streets if AJ continues to fire. He's definitely be representing hand like two pair or better. And the turn is a seven. Yeah, and AG. Or <laughs> AJ was in the uh, straddle, so he could have anything. Yeah. Absolutely. He has Ten, all the three, two pairs three, in his, three, his range, three. yeah. And uh, I think we're going to see JD lay it down. Yeah. Very surprised. I thought we would see him call there. Very surprising. Pull there from JD. He's got to think maybe a third barrel's coming in after that check raise. Yeah, very interesting. I think uh, AJ might have been planning to check back, check back on River after if he gets called there on the turn. Right. Because it's not really a three street value hand. No, it's not. Yeah, especially as when you check race flop. Um, yeah, Lego says he's a super foodie, evidenced by the gut, and he's had some good Mediterranean. Okay. All right. I, you'll definitely have some great Mediterranean at a hey, hey Lego. Restaurant. Where's the best steakhouse in Dallas? Uh, let us know. Yeah, I want to hear because I've ate some nice ones. So, I'll, what's the best? Have you been to some here? Yeah, what's I've been. The, um, what's your favorite one so far? Let me see. I've been to Papa Bros. I've been to Chamberlain's. I've been to. Um, I can't remember. There's another one that's famous here, and I can't remember what it's called now. <laughs> um, Is it Perry's Three Forks? Not Perry's. Why is it? They give you a really big carrot. Really big carrot. I yeah. I've been to that one. And you can get like, um, pick. they give you pickles in a jar too. I can't remember what it's called. Interesting. I've been to Albernay's. That's a good one. I've been to Albernay's. Yeah. Um, maybe it was Albernay's. I don't remember. AJ flopping a, a flush here and uh, OFC leading out with complete air. <laughs> and JD JD's with JD's going to call a top air. You see, you see AJ coming with the raise here. It's just going to call the small flush. Is both opponents drawing dead? It doesn't have to be fancy to be good, though, Lego. That's true. Oh, you know which one I really like? It's called Texas, I and it's in Richardson. Okay. It's really good. Really? It's a little... I've been to Bob's. I've been to Bob's, yeah. I haven't been there. I'd highly recommend checking out Texas. I'll check it's that out. It's fantastic. The restaurant's just called Texas. Texas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can't mess it off the highway. There's a huge sign. <laughs> Texas. Went in here. Fantastic. Flop flush. Yeah. Um, Nice hand there for I you. like Chamberlain's a lot. I don't okay. think it's the best steakhouse, but it's a good steakhouse. Um, I like the appetizers there. Uh, the price point's very good. Mm -hmm. They have a cool atmosphere, um, and they have a cool cigar lounge if you like to smoke cigars. Um, that's I like that steakhouse just for the atmosphere part, but I've never been to Texas. Yeah, Mark, even we though confirming Texas. that Texas is very good. It's um, fantastic. Yeah, it, has, I, it feels I like wanna, Texas. When I want to go in there. there. That what you said. You, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, I had the Wagyu down here, which was really good. And the the price point at Texas is is very reasonable too for a steakhouse. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's not cheap, but it's right. not it's not ridiculous. Right. And the quality is top notch. 
EG Steak in Frisco. Okay, see, now you're talking my language. All right. And uh, JD raising 150, Queen Jack. And flop top Pop and there. top pair again. That's three top pairs in a row. Right. This one he should take down. Chamberlain's deviled eggs, best deviled eggs I've ever had. I know that sounds silly because it's American deviled eggs. Okay. But I've never been a big deviled egg. <laughs> they're guy. really I, I like I like eggs and toast deviled eggs are <laughs> the best. It's just the gourmet deviled eggs, you know. It's when you take when you take uh, regular old food and make it expensive, right? And nice. <laughs> I, I like the um, Brazilian steakhouses. Have you ate there? I I don't get as much value from them because I don't I don't eat enough. You don't eat and enough. I'm more of a grazer, so like I okay. don't like, eat a ton in one big meal. Right. So I feel like I miss value at the at the Brazilian steakhouse. EG's like Fogo. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, that's okay. nice. I I like Texas Day Brazil a little better than Fogo, honestly. So I have to check out EG State. They might be playing the Jack Four. It looks like. I think oh, so. No. I think that was a misclick there from Action Track. Oh he yeah, because he pulled. So maybe they're uh, not playing the Jack yeah. Four. Maybe just Habib was just mixing it up earlier. Yeah, I think Habib's just mixing, getting in the mix. Right. Lego, you were bluffing. You said he didn't eat fancy steakhouses. Yeah, he, he's named. <laughs> yeah, he was bluffing. It's like they're not fancy gator. <laughs> yeah, those aren't fancy enough. <laughs> uh, he got a lot of good recommendations. I, there's a the lot of restaurants yeah, to eat here. Take a snapshot of this. Uh, right, <laughs> Brasco Brazilian Barbecue. Now that that's uh, or not, I probably said that wrong because I can't see Brazilian Barbecue. That sounds interesting. That's probably Brasco. more. Um, Brasco. Is it Brasco? It says Brasco. If my wife was in the chat, she'd tell us. She's from Brazil. Oh, she is? Yeah. Very cool. Do you, have uh, you guys traveled to Brazil together? No, but we're going to go. Very awesome. You going to bring your son with you? Yeah, because her parents live down there. Okay. So is your family in West, in, uh, West Virginia? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not much family, but they're there. Yeah. How are you guys managing here with the new baby and hard. not having? It's hard without I'm family. Yeah. yeah. It's, I'm it, not fa managing. Having family helps a lot. Yeah. Because the grandparents, it's like it's like free babysitting. Yeah, and I and I wish that and they want to help too. Yeah, I wish that I had somebody out here, but unfortunately, my family's not going to move from West Virginia. To yeah, have they come <laughs> down and visit and see uh, a baby? Actually, my grandmother's coming in on Monday. Awesome, very cool. Um, McDonald's for Poker Monkey. Poker Monkey, I tell you what, I'll step it up a little bit. I'll, <laughs> I will take you to Chick Fil A. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard it. You heard I'll, it I'll take you to Chick Fil A. All right. <laughs> take you to Chick Fil A. Gourmet meal. Hey, hey Chick-fil-A is solid. We can even go on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If, if for some reason you can't get in Chick-fil-A on Sunday, he'll take you to, uh, he'll take you to a steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it, it, for some reason if we can't. I got special privilege. They open up on Sunday for me. I wonder how much business they get on Monday. You know, <laughs> on, <where? laughs> on. <laughs> Monday's got to be the busiest day. Funny, I always want to go on Sunday. Man, like everyone's experience. I'm the same way. I, I always think of it on Sunday, and then I'm like, I've driven there. I can't tell you how many times I've driven to Chick Fil A on Sunday. Thinking it's open, yeah. and I'm like, why are there no cars here? <laughs> Me too. And I live about five minutes from a Chick Fil A, yeah. and I'm like, man, I really want that chicken sandwich right now, and it's not open. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Um, AJ with the three bet. Yeah, I like the three bet here. Right. Position the ten Z nine suited. Z fish calling. Z fish defending. Okay. And AJ's got a pretty good flop. He can bet at, represent the king, and he's got yeah, the draw. Beautiful dream flop here for nice AJ. Six hundred. I can't see Z Fish continuing. Yeah. yeah. Nice hand there for AJ. Yeah, Chick Fil A advertising Super Bowl platters because they're open on Sundays. <laughs> Texas Roadhouse is more my dude. Texas Roadhouse is solid. Have you had the rolls there? The rolls, yes. The roll, the rolls phenomenal. might be my favorite rolls of all time. Yeah. Uh, I'm not real big into 
like the chains uh, for for steakhouses. I'm but usually not either, but in my opinion, Texas Roadhouse is like the best I, chain I, steakhouse I've had. I usually call in and ask for the rolls and just <laughs> buy like twelve of them. Just buy a bunch of Yeah, rolls. I know. <laughs> if you can't tell, they're they're that good. They are that good. Yeah. The the butter, everything just hits really well on it. <laughs> Man, that's making me hungry. I think that's going to be my new proposition, but I'm going to bet you 12 rolls of Texas uh, Roadhouse rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those are, uh, those are a hot commodity. That's one I want to win. Sea Fish, 200 to call with the 5 3 clubs. Moneymaker in the big blind with the Ace 4 offsuit. And we're going to see a 3 bet here from Z Fish. Right. He likes to 3 bet these, these suited connector hands. And, and he uh, takes it down. Yeah. I like the aggression. Seafish, not scared. Nah, he's 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 getting in the mix. He's mixing it up. Let's take a look at Zfish. Oh, maybe we don't have a profile for him. So, uh, chip count: seventeen thousand, thirty-four percent VPIP, pre-flop raise: nineteen percent, went to showdown: forty percent, aggression frequency: fifty-two percent. Mm hmm Yeah. I just wanna, I just wanna One of the higher pre flop raises on this table. Right. <laughs> Levi in there with the laughing faces. What happened? That was funny. Let me see. OFC, the fifty dollar call. Moneymaker, two queens. A couple late. Picking up a big hand. There we go. I think we haven't seen a big starting hand in a little while. It's been while. a while. Yeah. Got a premium pocket been pair. Been a while. Sea fish, four deuce of clubs. He's getting in there. Yeah, I'm going to get in there for an extra 200. Let's do it. Oh, if she's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Well, OFC flopping top pair. Moneymaker getting a good flop here with the two queens. With queen of diamonds. Yeah. And I think he just started with the check. Yeah, it's, kind of, it's a very dynamic board. Mm -hmm. Connects well with uh, Z Fish and uh, OFC. That's 350. <laughs> no, Z Fish is betting out here with absolute air. Moneymaker's got a good hand to check call with the Queen yeah. of Diamonds. Oh yeah. Lego says, I'm taking Eric and his wife to my all-time favorite restaurant, the Gary's Denton, owned by a Persian family that serves great Italian. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. <laughs> that does. That, that's not far away from me either. I'm going to go check that out. And uh, <laughs> Z-Fish continuing to barrel here. I know. 1450 from Z-Fish Moneymakers. Got to think. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, I think he's going to make the call. Um, but Zfish representing a really strong hand. Right. He's definitely representing a hand better than Moneymakers. His line is very strong, very credible. He bet the flop into both players. He mm -hmm. got called by both players, and he's continuing to bet the turn. He's telling the story. He's telling a very believable story. He's saying Moneymakers in the blender here. This is not an easy spot. No, but I think Money... Oh, man, Moneymaker looking back. He lets it go. Just let it go. And what a play there from Zfish. Wow. He must have showed the bluff. Yeah. <laughs> join us Tuesday night, Gator. Lego, I might have to join you. Uh, sounds like a good time. I know. I appreciate the invite. Lego, that's a nice guy. Come and say hi to me in the room next time I'm here. Where's my invite, Lego? Yeah, <laughs> where's Hayden's invite? Betting, he's only betting rolls from Texas Roadhouse is, is high stakes, I think. Yeah, it is high stakes. That's, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start when I when I'm playing a pot. I'm gonna be like, this is this is 12 dozen rolls of Texas card. I see your 12 dozen rolls. <laughs> I see another two dozen. Lego said, you're just, you can just go eat the rolls of Texas Roadhouse. I would take those two, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, C raised the 200. Carlos. That's 7 8 suited Carlos calling with the Jacks. Right. There's three ways to play Jacks. They're all wrong. All right. Thank you, Lego. 
<laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. I'm going to have to check the place out. But Gary's, that's just a strong name for Italian. That is a strong I name. I love good Italian food. And look at this. OFC oh. flopping two pair Carlos with top set. Carlos, this <laughs> is, is this his the, opportunity. This is the redemption? Yes, this is his redemption opportunity. Man. Carlos. This it. is going to be a big yeah. pot. If Carlos puts in a raise here and starts building this pot right away, he's just going to call. And a seven or an eight would be Carlos's oh dream card yes, here. it would. Five of clubs doesn't really change much. And OFC has to think he's got the nuts here. He's got to think his hand is very, very strong. Absolutely. He's thinking Carlos probably is a jack at this point. He's sizing up, trying to get max value. And OFC drawing dead. He is bamboozled. Carlos. So if you're Carlos, do you put the raise in here or do you wait to the river? I put the raise in now. Yeah. Trying to get more money in the pot. Yeah. Charge those potential draws over pairs. Seven eights. Carlos said, how about 1,500 and a snap call? Yeah, OFC snap calling. That is a bad card. Bad river card. It's going to save OFC some money. I think we might see Carlos just check back here. Yeah, I could, see, I could see a check call too, but probably check check here. Yeah. So Carlos raking in a nice pot. And the rivalry could have been really settled there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Carlos taking in a $3,800 pot. Nice hand for him. Come, making a nice comeback here, Carlos. Only down uh, 1600 now. B done still at the top. Moneymaker, OFC. And um, JD and Brass Monkey at the bottom here. Looks like we got Minnesota Scott coming back in the box. Minnesota uh, Scott. That's yeah. where he's from, Minnesota. Yeah. Eric's from Minnesota, too. Oh, yeah, that's I'm right. I'm not sure if they... If Eric, I think Eric talked him into coming down. Really? Yeah. It's a great place to deal. If I was going to be a dealer, this is, like, the place to do it. Yeah. The players are really nice. Huge. The tips are good. Yeah. I make good money. Oh, yeah. Good, good work environment. Yeah. And I love... It's pretty the, easy going. I love know? the fact that you can get off shift and you can go play. Yeah, absolutely. That's so much fun. Yeah. And the dealers, they like to get in there and mix it up. Mix yeah. it up, yeah. Do you think you learned a lot when you were dealing? No. No? <laughs> you just didn't pay attention enough? Or? I think it's just too hard. Um, I think dealing made me worse, actually. Really? Yeah. Because a lot of, if you, I mean, I don't know from your experience, but a lot of dealers usually play poorly. Yeah, I agree. I've played with some dealers that do play very, very well. I agree. And then I've, I've also played with some. Um, I'd say the majority of them don't play great. Right. <laughs> the dealers I played with like to gamble. Yeah, they like to gamble a lot. Right. Um, that's not to say for everyone, because I've definitely played with dealers that played very well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, then again, poker's an opinion, so. It's, yeah, I me, like that. I like me that saying poker's it's well. Poker's an opinion, yeah. And somebody else saying it's well, two different things, but. And what a flop here. Oops, what a flop is two. right. Moneymaker checking back in position wisely. Uh oh, we got a white screen. We're back. Seven of diamonds. Z fish. Yeah, Z fish turning the flush. Big turn. Yeah, he can definitely get uh, two streets of value here from OFC. And OFC with lead out. Okay. Yeah, that's a tough river card for OFC. Uh, yep. Z fish is shown. He's very aggressive. Yeah. Um, can definitely have a lot of missed draws here. Does Z fish? He went for an over bet, 13.50. Mm-hmm. And Zfish could just have a misdraw and then backdoor and hit a king. He definitely, absolutely. And OFC. He can have just have the ace of diamonds. He could have like a lot of. Yeah, OFC pays it off. Don't blame him. Nice, okay. uh, nice hand there for Zfish, using his image to his advantage. Right. Getting paid off for the big bet there on the river. <laughs> definitely. A tough and uh, that hand puts Zfish in the green. Wow. Down in the green. <laughs> the stacks are really deep tonight they are Let's take a look at the chip stacks here z fish 20k b done 17 jd 17 aj 14 carlos 13 moneymaker 10 and ofc and brass monkey just under 10 as well so we have the potential for a really really big pot that yeah. 25k pot you predicted could definitely happen well i'm kind of like the weather man i'm i'm not usually right <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of good one-liners. <laughs> 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 
Well, none of them worked on my wife, so. <laughs> <laughs> it must have worked at some point. Oh, and we got Paolo, uh, <laughs> Paolo in the mix. I think that's how you say his name. He played uh, last Friday on the street. Oh, did he come in? Yeah, very good player. Usually plays pretty high stakes games here in Dallas, mm -hmm. quarter 50 right. and bigger. Three queens. Carlos with the king high. OC with the 7-4. Yeah, OC as a preflop raiser might just see bet this board. And he's going to take it down. <laughs> long haired beard. Does he have a long beard as well, Lego? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he does. He's got a, he's got a nice beard. I don't have the patience to grow a beard like that. I can't do it. My, I'm too patchy. I tried during the pandemic and right. it just didn't work out. I've grown and it gets <laughs> so itchy and I get aggravated. Yeah, like, yeah, same. Man, and I look like a true West Virginian then. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Uh, Paolo coming in the one seat buying him for 15K. Now we got a game on our hands here. You have a game. Very deep game. Money maker. Pal is very aggressive, good aggressive player, so we could see some very interesting pots right. take place. Money maker the two jacks raised 150. He takes it down. Mm hmm. He played those jacks well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he won with him. Yep. <laughs> That's all that matters. up a hand to play this orbit carlos jack ten of hearts everyone's been fairly card dead yeah sometimes the card distribution just isn't that yeah. great mm -hmm. nine three deuce the badoogie board and no one with much here no just gonna check through great turn card for carlos to bet Picking yeah. up the open ender. Mm-hmm. And should just take this pot down. Yeah, I like like the bet here from Carlos. Dollar twenty-five. So where did you play mostly in West Virginia? Um, so I'm from a place called Martinsburg and I played in when I played in West Virginia, I played at a place called Charlestown. Not okay. Charleston, Charlestown. Um, that was actually one of the meccas back in 2010, like, of the East Coast. Like, okay. it boomed. But when Maryland opened casinos, Charlestown. Maryland Live. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But before that, you had PLO games. You had 1025 that ran every day. You had wow. 510 that ran every day. Multiple 25s. Um, they had some good tournaments at some points. Um, they were really huge because they were the only place in the area. Right. So they were drawing, you know, people that were going to Atlantic City. So instead of going to Borgata, they were just coming to Charlestown. Okay. Northern Virginia there, Maryland, and uh, all the surrounding areas. So. Yeah, it's good. It was huge good, when good it first hunt. opened. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. It was a great. It was a great, great place. We used to call it the place where the sand turns to gold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my old stomping ground. Yeah. Uh, you're a legend up there. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm well known there, but I don't know about legend. Let me see. Sixes. Betting a hundred and a quarter. OFC is not a believer. 
He's got two deuces. <laughs> oh, see, no, just gets counterfeited. Here. No, see, could definitely take this pot down if a uh, Z fish is not slowing down. 275 from Z fish. Oh, no, see, yeah. Says no. He's got the nut low. Right. <laughs> I was actually going to, when I was moving out of West Virginia, I was going to move to Florida. Yeah. And, uh, Florida's not a bad choice. But the then. action used to be great. Then I went to <laughs> Texas instead. Yeah. Um, so I don't have any regrets with that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Texas is a very solid choice. Yeah. And, and, and it's, a better, it's been a better choice for me to raise my son as well. Yeah. Uh, Dallas um, is a great area. A lot of um, great school districts. Mm -hmm. You know, it's. It's a really big area. Too. Yeah. A lot of really nice suburbs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be, really happy to be here. Really grateful. Yeah. yeah. And just, you know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be here playing poker. I'm happy to be alive. I, I just enjoy the game. Yeah. We're very, very fortunate to be able to do something that we love. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, I wouldn't say that I'd do it well. I just do it. <laughs> You do it well from what I've seen. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. I've been impressed with your play. I appreciate that. Yeah. JD with the ace eight. Call 100 and a quarter, Carlos. Raise 150. So do you have aspirations to play this Friday night game or play quarter 50? <clears throat> so I technically I could play it. Um, they offered me to play it a couple times, and and I kind of just turned it down to say, you know, I I think it's a tad bigger than where I want to play, um, just because it's the quarter 50 is a little bit bigger. But I'm also really strict on bankroll management because mm -hmm. I was really bad with it in my 20s. Right. So this is kind of nitty, but if I don't have at least like somewhere near like 100 binds, I won't play regularly. Right. So, you know, I could definitely play it. Um, I think I'd be okay, but I much prefer to just stick to regular 10 and a quarter, 5-5, five, five, 10 and a quarter. Right. Um, I also kind of think that I think the 5-5, five, five, 10 and a quarter game seems to be a little bit more action. Yeah. Um, so that's the other thing that kind of drives me to it. Right. Um, I would play this, yes, but... Right now, I'm playing a little bit less due to having the sun and stuff. Mm -hmm. and just playing on the internet mainly. But I think where I want to be right now is just, just the 5, 10, and a quarter realm. Having the 50 and 100 on is just a little little more than I want to play for every day. Right. You know, um, just because I'm a bankroll nit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you consider, like, possibly selling action to get in this game? or? Yeah, I would sell it. Yeah. I would. I would do it. Um, I would, I would have to play it consistently though. I would hate to play just one time and lose right. or something. Yeah. Or even win something just one time. Right. And so when I first started playing on the streams, I didn't even know I was going to play the five, ten, twenty-five game you every week. Just, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I didn't know where I could find that action really. And like I said, I was playing on the internet mainly, right. which I was playing fairly, you know, fairly good game on the internet. That was. I mean, a couple nights I lost 10,000 in games, so it's not like it was nothing, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, if it was too big for me, I would sell a piece of it, yes. Um, but I like to play on my own money. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm the same way. I hate to have somebody else's opinion in there asking me, yeah, why, why did you do that? that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> so I'm playing, you know, I'm playing 10 and quarter on my own money, which I'm happy about. Uh, B done. Looks like he wins the flip with the old nine four. Yeah, he does. Nine's full of fours. And I call, we call that hand the uh, the Mag the Magugi. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what they call it back where I'm from. I like I like some of the funny names that people give hands. The Magugi. I've never yeah, heard that yeah, one. I, there must have been some right. famous guy named Magugi. Magugi. Magu that like Mr. Yeah. Magoo almost. Yeah. Scooped uh, a huge pot with nine four. Yeah. If we have, you know, there's a lot of weird names for hands out there. One of them is the nine seven suited, the West Virginia Big Slick. Okay. Yeah. West Virginia Big Slick. West Virginia Big Slick. That's a famous hand up there, nine seven suited. Yes, it is. That is a famous hand up there. I like myself a nine seven suited. Me too. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna say I thought your favorite hand was nine ten suited. My first stream you played, you won that huge pot with uh, the nine ten of clubs. Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't my favorite hand. I just felt like. 
I felt like Frankie uh, had a hand like he did, and, and it looked like a good squeeze spot, and I figured as much as I haven't raised, he's probably going to fold. Right. And he does call, and then he flops a massive. He flopped, yeah, a massive two pair. Yeah. And then it's a beautiful turn card. When I check raised him on the flop, I was like, well, I need a red seven. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only thing I thought in my head. <laughs> And I said, well, there's a red seven. <laughs> I'm 4,000. I'm all in. <laughs> right. That was, a, that was a real cooler for that man. Yeah. I, he's, man, he's, I would have had been, nightmares. Yeah, he, he had a really bad run that day. He did, man. Yeah. Um, J- I remember J-Rock hitting the four in the river. That was a, oh that was a rough one. Yeah. yeah. It was unbelievable. I mean, I mean, if I was Frankie, I would have had nightmares. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he, that was a rough, rough day. Jack Deuce, <clears throat> AJ King Jack. Looks like Z-Fish is going to get another bluff through here. <laughs> right. Floating the flop with the Jack Deuce. And Z-Fish is playing pretty tough, man. Yeah, he's a very, very tough player. You got some really tough players now at this table. Yeah, and putting you in some spots that you yeah. just don't want to be in. Yeah. Him and OFC playing at the same table is an interesting dynamic. Yeah. I feel like they seem to have kind of a similar style where they, they play a lot of hands and they, they mix up their play and they put you in some really really difficult spots yeah it's not fun to be in that spot yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'd rather be the one putting you in it than to be in the one yeah, in it deciding right Carlos here, gonna call fifty dollars. King nine hearts of C. Starting off the action, the ace deuce calling. Palo six three offsuit to three six mafia hand. Z yeah. fish seven Z-fish. hearts. He likes these suited connectors. He likes. He does mixing it up. I love these hands. Yeah. Carlos, let's see what he's gonna. He's gonna fold. He lets well. it go. Do you like commentating? We've done this a couple times now. I do enjoy it. Yeah, I do enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's fun. I've got I've gotten some good feedback um, from from people, so it's nice to get that positive feedback because when you're doing it, especially for the first time, you're like not sure how right. you're doing. You're like right. You're like, do I suck? Do I sound more? Like it's just like it's just like hard to really know like exactly how you're doing so it's nice to get feedback yeah um, yeah it yeah. is nice to hear that i'm uh i'm always happy when i hear feedback good or bad yeah be done with the two sixes that's actually one of my favorite hands was the two sixes that was what sixes, i won yeah. my yeah i won my first tournament with a coin flip home game tournament with that that's where i won 50 500 and uh which was a 440 dollar buy-in when I was 18 at a home game, which felt quite big. <laughs> um, it was my sixes versus his ace king all in pre flop. He's going to meet some resistance here. Seafish coming for the check raise with the open ender, two overs. Right. Love the play. AJ with the 9 3 clubs. This is probably going to do it here. It should. It's tough for uh, B Dunn to continue here. But we have seen him. He does. Uh, he does not like to give up on pots. Yeah, he might not be done with this hand. He's not. Oh, he's getting raising. Wow, chips. he's putting in a three bet on the flop. He said, "I got the best hand. <clears throat> be done with your hand." And I think uh, Z Fish, at the very least, is just is going to call here. <clears throat> but be done representing a really big hand. Yeah, with this uh, this very polarizing bet. Really big. If he had a 10 or if he had an overpair, he would probably just call the raise. Yeah. Yeah. So putting another raise. He's in. representing like top two pair sets. 
Maybe a hand like a big, big combo draw. Seafish gonna make the call. We have a pot brewing. Let's see what happens here. Deuce, your relevant deuce. Check. Dunn checking back. Check, check. And Dunn might get the showdown here and win this pot. Right? We'll see if Zfish decides to fire the river. Now, if Zfish bets, Dunn has a very interesting decision to make. Yeah, he does. Um, and if Zfish bets, I would assume it's going to be pretty big. It's going to put Dunn in a tough, tough spot. Mm. But all the draws did miss. Looks like Zfish is going for it. This man is tough. This man. This man does not want to give up. Has no fear. Yeah. He wants to put the pressure on you. And he's got to be thinking. And he checked. What he would fold. And uh, be done. Going to win a nice pot there with the sixes. Mm -hmm. 5,500. He did think about it. He did yeah. think about putting that big barrel in there. Hey, thanks, Lego. Thank you very much, Lego. We appreciate that. Lego, I'm going to buy you 12 Texas Roadhouse uh, rolls for that comment. That's very generous. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like the best of the best. I'll, I'll double it. You'll you double 24 it. 24 rolls. Whoa. <laughs> Somebody bought me 24 rolls. I would... Oh, man, I'd, I'd eat them all. I'd eat all. <laughs> I, I'd fr I would try to eat 26 of them. Yeah. I would eat them all. That's for sure. Not talking about it. I want to go get some after we're done. You're not wrong. <laughs> they are the best steakhouse bread, like, ever. It is, yeah. Moneymaker. Another ace hand I really like. Face. I yeah. like the ace five suited. Me too. I like that hand. OFC with the king ten. Looks like he's not going anywhere. Makes the call. Yeah. It's a bargain for an extra hundred. Yeah. Two face cards. So he's not going to let Moneymaker push him around. Look, dealer wins. 21. <laughs> Oh, well, you played a lot of blackjack when you see a flop, and, <laughs> and that's the first thing you think of. I have a, I have thousands of hours. Do you in still blackjack. play blackjack? No, I stop? retired. You retired? Yeah, I retired. I didn't retire a winner. <laughs> yeah, not many people do. <laughs> I bet my friend five thousand dollars that I won't play blackjack. So if I do, I owe him five grand. So now I know I won't do it. That's smart. Because I'd have to bet a lot of money to yeah. even break even. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. So and I'm that, not going to lie to him. That, so. That's a good way to quit. That was the way I quit. That, that was way the way only quit. way. Yeah. It's a good motivator. No, I don't even think about it anymore. No. Moneymaker going to double barrel here. Complete air. But we added to the bet and said if you do want to play, the other guy gets to free roll 20% of it. Uh -huh. So you get punished <laughs> if you win. <laughs> I love that. That's perfect. Uh, and Moneymaker, double barrel here with just ace high and rivering the ace. Yeah. And curious to see if he's going to go for value here with the ace, <laughs> targeting just the king. And he is going for it. This is pretty thin value, given the line. Yes. And, uh, and OC yeah, folds. OC it is thin value, fold. given the line. And, and, and Moneymaker shows the five. <laughs> <laughs> Love it's it. got to be the ace five of space. That was, that was the OC move. Right? <laughs> Uh, I am probably the soberest poker player you'll meet. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't gamble anything outside of poker. Yeah. Um, not to say that I didn't used to. I just don't. You don't, you don't drink at all? No. Okay. If I do, maybe a New Year's. Right. Maybe a steak dinner with, you know. A just have a glass of wine. Yeah. Or, or beer. Yeah. You know. But, and, you know, it was something I did when I was younger, but then I got into gambling so much that I don't want to drink and then mess up playing poker right the next day i got a hangover that's really bad right exactly so yeah. but yeah I, I kicked all my bad habits back in my 20s it, not saying there's anything wrong with uh drinking and all that stuff it's just not for me yeah i was just too focused on playing poker i love it that's all i care yeah. about love the dedication except i eat bad food that is the one thing that's your uh, that's your <laughs> that's, that's the, your vice that's the vice yeah, yeah. bad food 
Ace Queen for the Brass Monkey. He hasn't played a hand in a while. Carlos with the two fours. Yeah, he's going to let it go. I don't blame him. Just to see if JD's going to defend here. They're very deep stacked. I don't understand this, really, because Brass Monkey, you got to know he's got to have a big hand at this point. Yeah. Maybe Long JD, time. I mean, if you're going to get a flop like oh, that. Well, maybe JD knew, yeah. knew that flop was yeah. coming. You know, his what hand that thing you well. called me the other day? What did he call you? What did you call me the other day on the stream? Oh, clairvoyant. Yeah, that's what yeah, JD is. Clairvoyant. Yeah, yeah. JD's <laughs> clairvoyant. Yeah. You're like, I knew he had aces. Like, you're the clairvoyant. Exactly. Uh, JD said, I knew I'm going to flop this flop. Yeah. <laughs> but turn ace queen we'll into an underdog. JD coming for a check race here. And you do. And I like this play because he does get a lot of value folding out better aces. Yes. And he has a ton of equity against over pairs and even a set of jacks. It's a lot of equity against everything. Nice hand there for JD. It's a good flop for him. Yeah, good flop. Nice check raise. Yeah. He's going to show the deuce of hearts, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played the show one game here yeah. in Texas? No, but I always wanted to. Yeah, it's fun, and we usually penalize if you forget. You you tip the dealer twenty five. Oh, really? yeah. So that's it's a good game awesome for the dealer. That's yeah. a good game for yeah. the dealer. And someone always, when you forget, it's usually in the small pots people forget, which is really funny. That you just like I I've done it a couple times where the pot's only like two hundred, and you just buck quickly and don't even think about it because <laughs> it's so insignificant. Right. And then they're just like you know. So you ended up tipping $25 on a, a $200 pot. <laughs> right. I want to play the stand-up game. Yeah. St I've never played the stand-up game, but either. it looks like a lot of fun. It does look like fun. Yeah. I like that um, you can play the side games here in Texas and you don't get penalized for that. Like, yeah. The side you know, games are a lot of fun. Play yeah. some red black or something like mm -hmm. that with somebody. Yeah. I like that they allow the props. It's so much more player friendly here. Yeah. It's, e it's easy going. Yes. Yeah. It creates a better atmosphere, I think. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And be done here with Jack three. Nine, eight, six. Paolo. Top, top. One and a quarter and fold. Are you playing uh, five days a week usually? Um, usually, yes. Yeah. Usually, usually four to five days a week. What about you? Uh, yeah, um, rest of the days on the internet, unless I find some home game to go to, but um, just here on Saturdays. I've sometimes I've been dabbling in the TCH games every yeah. once every once in a while during the week. But how do you like it? <clears throat> I like it. I just, I like the atmosphere. Um, I like the atmosphere at Poker House the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I like both places. You know. Yeah, yeah. There's, to me, I, I'll play I'll play the game in a, in a zoo. I don't care. Yeah. You go where the action is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. right, right. Yeah. Exactly. No, Poker House has a great atmosphere. Yes. Yeah. Very spacious. I like the different rooms, too. Yeah, like I, I like, they I like the high room. room. I like the high-stakes room. That's guys. what yeah. I really like about here. And the separated area to go eat and sit on yeah. the couch and stuff. Uh, yeah, they have a nice lounge area up there. Nice. And there's a patio for people to go smoke. Absolutely, yeah. Oh. Really comfortable couches up there. Yeah. Ed's taking uh, many naps up there. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a little action going on. Yeah, there, so. Don's coming in with a three bet. Mm-hmm. And uh, just to see what Paolo's going to do with the ace-nine suited. Ace-nine. So Paolo's an aggressive player. I definitely wouldn't be surprised to see him uh, four bet with a hand like this. Right. He likes to do it with a suited aces. And he does make the call. And I think AJ is going to come in with the call as well with the tens. Yeah, I don't see him folding. In OFC, I, I'm pretty sure it's calling. Yep, yeah, OFC is going to try and hit a deuce on this flop. What about a nine deuce ten board? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm rooting two for clubs. pain today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, there's two clubs. Queen Jack five, two clubs. Beautiful fall up here for Paolo. Yeah, good flop for Paolo. I know OFC is not liking it. And B Dunn and AJ has got to be a little cautious here. Thinking and that somebody can have a queen or a jack. And we'll probably see Paolo just take it down here. You don't I think, think AJ might peel one with two tenths? And I it does think it's fold. hard with two players behind it. It is. It and Paolo's is. representing a lot of strength betting in the three players here on boards like this. Going to give it up. Yeah. yeah. Nice hand there for Paolo. Yeah, good bet by him. 
two overs to their cards. He's got the nut flush draw. Yeah. He flops a good flop there. Yeah, I think it's hard to bet too light in a multi-way pot like that on a yeah. dynamic board like of that. Of course. First hand here for Paolo so far. <clears throat> Are you playing TCH mainly or are you just playing here? Um, I do a balance of both. I've started playing here a lot more right. recently. Yeah. Well, and what are you playing here normally? I'll play 1-2. Um, they play a 1-3 game on Wednesdays, which is a really fun game. On Wednesdays? It's a, yeah, $1,000 max buy-in. It's a Mark Wee's game. Okay. They do bomb pots. They play the uh, all um, kinds of stuff. They play the seven deuce game. They seven do the stand-up game. game. Okay. So not everyone all. in the game wants to stand up, but they do the stand-up game where he's, he made knit buttons for everybody. Uh -huh. So you turn it. So you when you win a hand, you turn in your knit button. Okay. The last person with the knit button has to pay everybody. So how much do you have to pay? Uh, I believe it's $10. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, AJ. And they do a lot of straddles. The, he told me last week the uh, 192 straddle was on. They wow. got all the way to the uh, the button. <laughs> and so one shove line for 2000 was That's fours. a game, man. Yep. Then the guy that put on the 192 at Aces, they ran it three times, no. and he only won one board. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the, guy, the other guy at pocket four is, and he hit a four on two of the boards. <laughs> That's absolutely brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Three betting with the two queens and OFC with the six seven calling OC flopping the open ender. Yeah, great flop for OFC. <laughs> see fish in there with the ace ten off. AJ, I gotta think he's gonna see bet here in the cutoff. Two queens, only one over to his hand. Yeah, he three bet pre flop. Yeah, four seventy five. And OFC cold called. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, so OFC is gonna at least call here. Yeah. Definitely see that. Oh, and wow. just comes right in for OFC. OFC just turning it here. And AJ is going to continue batting with his queen. Yes, he is. And OFC just in another great spot here. Does OFC only have 7,300? He must have lost a few pots. Yeah. So interested to see here. OFC is just going to call or he's going to put in the raise. The pot is already very big, but if he's putting AJ on a big hand like ace, king, aces, you might want to put the raise in here. Yeah. I, I, very dry, very uh, dry board, though. Yeah, I, I know. So I like calling. Yeah, I, I, I like calling, too. And... Is this a call? It looks like he's cutting out calling chips, and it is. RV Phil in the chat. Shout out to RV Phil. It says, so smooth, OFC. All right, RV Phil. Oh, and the river's a king. <laughs> this is a good card for AJ, because now it's less likely OFC has a king. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a card that might uh, help OFC get paid off here. Exactly. You might get a check call here. Depending how big OFC's going to bet. OFC checking his cards, making sure he has it straight. See a huge bet. What about five thousand? Forty-three seventy-five, about three quarters pot. Forty-three seventy-five. Wow. And AJ. And AJ's in a tough spot here. He's gotta hate it. Yeah. And AJ looks like he's not a believer. No. He wants to make this call. He's cutting out calling chips. Yeah. Tell he's uncomfortable. 
heart probably just dropped to the stomach here. Yeah, these pots are gross. Yeah, oopsie, we'll put you in these spots. And he does, and he does make, make the, the call. call. Oopsie is getting paid. And they're going to play 14K pot. Biggest hand of the night. Very nice hand from OFC. Well played hand. OFC does it again. He does. Poker magician. <laughs> Look at the winnings after this hand. B down up 12K. OFC, OFC now up 7,700. Moneymaker 52. Paolo 1,900. And uh, AJ down 9,200 now after that hand. Right. Rough spot there. Mm-hmm. So, and that river I thought was definitely bad for his hand. Yeah. Make it easier for him to check call. Absolutely. Jay checked in a spades. Yeah, very nice hand to get back in the mix with. Looks like he added on. AJ, he's got a bunch of yellows. Yeah. He's uh, he's wanting to uh, match the stack here. I think this game is going to money back. Yeah, this game to play after the stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are probably going to keep playing. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> oh, <that was> <laughs> oh man, love it. Three, four, seven, two hearts. Brass monkey with the flush drone. Another four. Let's see JD lead out here. Diamonds. JD still with the best hand. I might see JD go for a check call here. The draws mess. It's kind of hard for him to get value from too many worse hands. Right. He just bet 75. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to induce the raise there, maybe. Very possible. Nice hand for JD. B. Dale says, OFC rarely bluffs, always banks the turn. <laughs> he does seem to make a lot of hands on the, bank a lot of nice turns recently. Seen him make a lot of hands. Yeah. That's why he's called a magician. Yes, poker magician. We got the $100 straddle on. Moneymaker here, with the Jack Ten, and he's going to raise it three hundred. He takes it down. <laughs> so, how many buy-ins do you like to play as a in your role for a game? Um, what's your min? Probably 20. 20? Yeah. yeah. I've, I've always been a little bit more of a shot taker. Right. But um, I think 20 is good for me, too. Yeah, it depends on the game, how it's playing, uh, like how comfortable I feel in the lineup. And like, there's some games that I feel are a lot lower variance yes. where I feel comfortable with less buy-ins. I agree. And then there's some games that are a lot higher variance mm -hmm. um, where I would obviously want, want more buy-ins. Yes. I, I also like the fact that... Um, when you play deeper, I feel like the variance is a little bit lower. 
I think so. Yeah, I think it depends on the lineup. Like, I think if you play deep in this lineup, your variance could be really high because there are some very good players yeah. that can put you in tough spots. Um, but I do agree, though. You get to see more turns, more rivers, make more decisions. So Yeah, you're not, like, constantly all in. Yeah. So if you make better decisions than your opponents, then your variance, you know, should be a lot lower. Should be. Yeah. And Brass Monkey with the two sixes. What about you? Um, you said 50 or 100? Preferably 50 or 100. For the more the better, but I would play if as little as 20. Yeah. Um, but preferably I like to have like 100, but how many people have 100 buy-ins in whatever game you're playing? Right, yeah. But like I said, I prefer to do it, but most people, I think they're in there with a couple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's some people out there. For sure. We got a hand developing here. Uh, B done flopping open under. He was pre flopper razor. Brass yeah, monkey hitting middle set. Middle set. Yeah, finally hitting a hand tonight. Finally hitting a hand and a good card for him on the turn. And he's going to check it back over to B done. And B done might decide to barrel here. He's not done. Nope. Allison? Yeah, Brass monkey. 1,050, it looks like. 950. And interested to see if um, Brass Mike is going to go for the check call here. He's going to put in the raise right now. Brass Monkey. He's got to be loving this. Yeah, great spot for him. Great to be in board here. for his hand. He just, just calls, calls the 1,000 for the 950. 3,500 in the skillet. Yep. And uh, B Dunn does not get there. And that's a nice 10. Brass Monkey's got to know he's got the best hand. And checking yeah. it over to B Dunn. He's just praying that B Dunn fires he's here. He's just hoping B Dunn's not done with the hand. And he's not done. And he's, he's not. Firing. He is going to fire another bullet. Man. And there's no way Brass Monkey's getting away from him. He's just going to oh, say, no. uh, yeah, how much player. is he going to raise it to? How much more money can I win? Yeah, I think he's got a raise here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if B Dunn had a hand like Queen Jack, I think he would bet bigger. Right. You know, and if he's got Queen Jack or seven, eight, good for him. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, and exactly what happens is Brass Monkey puts in the raise. Yeah, I like this raise here. I think you can get paid off by potentially a hand like Ace King, some two pairs. Yeah. And what a bad time to miss. Yeah, if he if he got there, that would have been uh, ugly for Brass Monkey. But no. nice hand there for Brass Monkey. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Rena. She says the folks at Poker House Dallas are just super. Well, can we agree more? Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm happy to be a part of this. So are you planning on doing more commentary? So, yeah, they want me here on the Fridays. Every Friday night? Yeah. I love it. And me too. I'm yeah. enjoying it. And, you know, and then I'm playing here on the Saturdays. And, yeah. And I'd like to see some more. It's uh, cool to have that Friday-Saturday combo. Yeah. You commentate on Friday and, and you play, play on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. Um, yeah, I enjoy it, man. I, uh, Eddie asked me, he said, hey, you want to be here Friday every week? I was like, well. Sign me up. Yeah, sign me I'm up. There. I'm there. there. Why not? Love it. I can go play a little 2-5 or 5-10 or something after the game. Um, usually I would sit in the 2-5 after I get out of the booth, but I told my wife that I was going to come home afterwards, but who knows? I might uh, walk, into the, walk into a game on yeah. the way out. <laughs> <laughs> sign me up. Getting down and close for be done. King seven of spades. JD deuces. What do you think? Uh, do you usually play after you do a commentation or anything, or you just go home? Uh, sometimes I do. It depends if I see a good game or not. Kind of depends how you're feeling yeah. too, right? Yeah, I've been more of a morning person recently, so oh, I like to play with the baby. We we, uh, we take her to school. Okay. Um, we take we she goes to daycare, but um, we take her there, and then I'll usually go play after. Right. So I like to do the morning session. You like the morning. I like that the games are usually pretty good in the morning. Get in the first game and dead. it's good. Yeah. Where at? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm gonna put a tracker on your car. 
<laughs> find out where that man goes in the morning. You got to get up early, man. You know, oh. Early bird gets somewhere. Well, there's only two places you could go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you if you tell me about your app game. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you about the app game off the stream. Um, the I'm not a morning person. I, I'm not. I've never been. I've always been a late night guy. Yeah. That's why I kind of like playing poker because there's always a game at night. Yeah. I used to be a late night, later night, but since the baby, I've changed to a morning person. Really? Yeah. I'm I don't still know. I like to person. get up with her in the morning. I'm enjoying the normal schedule. Maybe when my son it gets a little bit change. older, I could start yeah. getting up early. But, man, I'm terrible getting up early. Once they start sleeping through the night. The thing is, is that when they get a little bit older and they sleep through the night, they're, like, so happy and cheerful in the morning that you don't really want to miss it. They're just like in such a good mood when they wake up. They have right. a huge smile on their face. They're excited to see you. It's just like there's nothing better. My son my, my son does that when I wake him up in yeah. the morning. My wife usually wakes him up. But sometimes I get lucky enough where I'm up all night. <laughs> yeah, you wake him up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's really nice to have a kid. Life, life without kids is empty. Yeah, for sure. I love it. Fun. It's changed my life for the better. Yeah. Yeah. Paolo. Waking up with the jacks. A couple of jacks. He fish. fish with the snowman. Just going to call. Hoping that he gets a little snowman flop. Oh, uh, see, the A6 of spades. I think you were going to see him call as well. Let's see what happens on the flop. Okay, well, OFC, shocker, flops an ace. The magician doing magical things. And he checks back. Wow. Harvey Phil says, hate him with the daddy talk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can relate, Phil. <laughs> Good to have you in the chat, Phil. Hope to see you back on the stream soon. Wow, that's a man that won huge a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that was the biggest one I've seen on the stream. Yeah, He's been over 30. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. yeah, happy to see Phil crush it. Really nice. That's, that's why CK is his favorite comedian. <laughs> King of Hearts on the river. Sea fish. Not going to win this pot unless OFC gives it up. Yeah, Sea fish thinking about turning his hand into a bluff here. Yep, I think that's what's happening. Let's see if OFC gives it up. But so it's interesting because uh, Z fish overbet the river for value against OFC in a previous hand. So I wonder if that's going through OFC's mind. And it, it is. He it lets up. it go. Just let it go. So Zfish taking taking advantage of that dynamic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> no, see. <laughs> Zfish has really impressed me. He's quite a player. Yeah, that man puts you in some spots, man. Yeah. Chance being picked up on this orbit. <clears throat> okay, Z fish for two tens for a hundred dollar raise. That AJ again in there. You're gonna see OFC call as well. Yeah. And let's see what happens here. Queen nine six. Two spades. And Z fish still the best hand. Yeah, and I can see this being a fold here. No FC probably gonna peel one off. And he does. What's the turn? Oh, my oh he banks How it. How does he do it? OFC. How does he do it? Loves the turns. Loves it. Checks back. I'm very wow. surprised by that. Four of diamonds. Irrelevant card. Check and a bet. Over bet river there. Nice big bet from OFC. Very interesting. And Zfish is puzzled. He, right. He can't believe that OFC uh, would check the turn with a nine. I can't either. 
And then it leads out the river yeah. hard. Good full there by Zfish. Sniffed it out. Catching the 7 a.m. game at the VFW. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Gotta do what you gotta do. I guess so. <laughs> Two nines. Z-Fish isn't falling. No. He's got 8-5 of clubs getting in there at the mix. And Carlos, 10-4. Did he get in there? He did. Oh. And he fought, fought the best hand. He did. He checks over. Paolo's probably going to see bet. Yep. Seafish calls and then Carlos calls. I think that's how it went down. And returns a six. What a turn card here for Zfish. Wow, yeah. I mean, straight in flush draw. Straight in flush draw out. Um, Carlos still with the best hand. And Zfish. Over that. <laughs> here comes Seafish again. Putting both these players in the blender here. Right. Carlos with the best hand. A pair and a gut shot. He's not going anywhere. He said, I'm taking a stand. He does call correctly here. He does. 23-40 in the middle. Let's see. The river's a jack of hearts. Now what does Carlos do? Probably check. Do you think Z-Fish goes for it? <laughs> if he does, it's going to put Carlos in a tough, tough spot here. Yeah, I think if Z-Fish does go for it, Carlos folds, but Z-Fish says no. He's going to check. Nice hand there, Carlos. Good call down. Nice hand, Carlos. And uh, Carlos is on the comeback trail, getting very close to even now. Only down 500. Got B Dunn, still the big winner. OFC, Moneymaker, and Paolo, all in the green. Right. JD, I think JD opened at 75. Yep. Nine of diamonds, brass monkey fold, hollow down. Seafish. 225 with the whole 6 7 of hearts. Yeah, we've seen, we've yeah. seen this one before. Yeah, he's been through it and he's suited connectors a lot. He does like to do that. JD. I really love the move deep stacked in position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's needling JD while he's calling. <laughs> <laughs> Finally playing a hand. The 7 10 ace board. This is good for Z Fish. Z Fish can rep the ace. He also flopped the best hand. Uh, another nice hand there for Z Fish. I think I'm going to hit up Texas Roadhouse after the stream. Talking about those rolls. <laughs> I like know. Dude, man. Got me feeling the Texas <laughs> Roadhouse rolls. We got about 15 minutes left in the stream. 56 viewers in the chat. 15 minutes left. Thank you guys so much for being here with us tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for being here. Hayden's been fun to be with today. Uh, I wish he would lose about two dozen rolls to me. <laughs> 
Maybe I'll get them on Saturday one time. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get myself some gator boots. They're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> you have to skin me for a few dollars. <laughs> uh, That's the plan. That, <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> JD with the ace jack off. Gonna make the call here. Six tray tray. Check from JD Paolo. I can see Paolo C betting this board. I'd yeah, I like to see bet here. Goes for a down bet. Little 75. We're going to see JD at least call one time here. No. He folds. He just gives up. Very interesting. What's up, Dwayne Hicks in the, in the chat? Good to have you here. I am coming back from a little hiatus. Coming into the booth first, and then we'll be back on the table soon. Dwayne, when are you uh, when are you coming back on the stream? I definitely want to see you back, back in the action. Have you played with uh, DW? No, I don't think so. I think you might have played with them. Maybe you didn't. <laughs> Maybe I did, but he yeah he who plays he's played the Friday stream and he's played Saturday as well. Okay. Yeah, great guy. Looks like AJ King Queen of Diamonds raising one fifty of C. Yeah, C getting in there with the dinner for two hand. <laughs> Calling 150. Be done. The other king queen. Well, everybody flopped a piece. So OFC with the second pair and be done and AJ with the same hand. Let's see if OFC can pick a nine on the stern again. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe a six. Yeah, maybe a six. Six would be a, his money card. Oh, yeah. He does make the call. And B Dunn coming in for the check race here. B Dunn. Probably going to see AJ call. I can see that. Dwayne Hicks says next Friday for sure. Awesome, man. Be excited to see you back on the felt. Get in the mix. And OFC does fold. They go heads up to what's most likely going to be a chop pot. Unless one of them folds. But be done. Might keep up the pressure, but no, he checks. AJ. Yeah, he's going to... I don't blame him for betting here. Probably thinks B Dunn might have a lot of draws here. And he right. raises flop, checks turn. River the king of spades. Both players have to be a little concerned about that card. Yeah. It's a straight and flush. We could we could see it go check check and we do. Yeah, and I think AJ could be more concerned about it as well since since um B Dunn check raised the flop. Yeah. And check calls turn. Right, and could have yeah. had spades in his hand. Absolutely.
All right, Lego says we're up to 31 likes. Hey, there we go. There we go. Let's see here. OFC. Oh, we got the 100 on. Z fish. Wow, yeah. Putting the 100 on. OFC picking up a nice hand. King Nine suited. OFC. Probably see him raise it up. Probably going to put a raise in. He does. I don't know if he's going to take it down. Yeah, raise to 300. And take it right down. So how did you uh, meet your wife? Um, so I was at Maryland Live, and I um, would play poker and take my phone, put it under the table, and swipe right on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> and you found the right one, huh? <laughs> yeah, so after I got done swiping right, it was like I was gambling. I just kind of picked out where I didn't want to go and just deleted the ones I would have went left with. Right. And then she was there uh -huh. with nothing in her bio, and I sent a message, and I was like, she's probably a bot. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. And that's how we met. So then she lived like eight minutes from the casino at the time. Very so. cool. Um yeah, and what about you? How'd you meet Kim? So she was dealing at the time at the uh, aisle in uh, Pompano. Okay, and I yeah. went into play, and um, we started talking when she was dealing at the table I was playing, and um, we exchanged information. Uh -huh. And then we're like, we both had plans that night, right. and we both had dates actually. Really? Through Bumble dates. Bumble. Through, yeah, yeah Bumble. I know Bumble. And we both got stood up. So then wow. we, we both got stood up, and we both ended up messaging each other. And uh, being like, hey, our friend uh, canceled on us, and then we got together, and the rest was uh, rest was history. That's history. Now you have a kid together. Yeah, now you're out here living in Dallas. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy how it works. Yeah. And uh, Paolo three bet down the three bet. Yeah. Thing. Surprised the CFC lay down the ten nine suited. Yeah. It's it's very interesting how uh, one conversation can change your life. Absolutely. Way yeah. down the road. Yeah. I never imagined that I would be sitting at a poker table and <laughs> swiping right. Swiping yeah. right. That's how I got married. Yeah. That's true. Yep. She's Derek probably going to kill me for telling everybody that. Yeah. <laughs> like getting stood up on a on your on your date, your blind date. <laughs> That's really crazy that you both yeah. got. To the I drove. I remember. Car. I drove like twenty out, twenty minutes north to the bar in Delray, and I got all the way there. Was waiting, and then she called and was like, "I'm not gonna make it." And then she's like, "Well, I got someone else I can go meet." <laughs> <laughs> right. Moneymaker, 150 with the queen ten, late position, cut off. Z fish. With the ace four and AJ. I'm going to call the 100 with the 9 8. Well, what a flop here. Yeah, AJ. I mean, he flopped a full house. Moneymaker does not want to see a jack. No. In terms of King Z Fish says, yeah, I'm going to stab at it. <laughs> Z Fish does. AJ. It's going to flat. It's going nowhere. He's got the virtual nuts. A four. Z-Fish checks and AJ's going to bet and Z-Fish is going to fold. Yeah, Z-Fish beats all the missed draws here. We're not blaming him for calling. He does he call, does, wow. Yeah. And AJ raking a nice little pot there. Stacks up to 23K. These stacks are really deep. Let's take yeah. a look. Big, big stacks. This is, this is this is high stakes poker right here. AJ in the lead here, 23K. JD 17, Z-Fish 17. Almost everyone, everyone over 10K now. Yeah. Really, really big game. Yeah, there's over 100K on the game. Yeah. Can definitely, 
definitely get up to that 25k pot. We have we have a few minutes left in the stream. It's possible, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I think we're going to have to settle for 14,000. 14,000, yeah. Had some good action, some uh, interesting plays. Yeah. Yeah. An interesting four hours. It has been. Looks like a raise, Jack eight offsuit from AJ to 100 and a quarter. Oh, see, the nine four diamond is going to make the call. Queen eight three, two clubs, 21 on the board, 150 bet from AJ. Second to last. Second to last hand. hand. Okay. Yeah. How far away is Texas Roadhouse? It's one about thirteen minutes away. That's so bad. I'm going to see, uh, are you down to go? If you want to go, I'll go. Let's go. All I'll right. We'll see if Eddie wants Man. to go. Yeah. We'll take Eddie out to dinner. Right. I like to play the old uh, credit card roulette. Don't play with Eric. No, he never loses. His card always gets picked first. <laughs> it I happened last time. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The fish. Two eights. Three bet to 450. see. <laughs> Giving it up. <laughs> wants the action. He's begging he for does. it. does. He's begging for it. Z Fish seems like he's a fun guy to play with. Yeah. I've only seen him twice now, but I yeah. haven't watched the streams unless I've been either playing them or commentating them. Yeah. So, so I'm new to the area. Yeah. So. He seems like a fun guy. Um, good table talk. I like his table talk. And yeah. he mixes up his play really nicely. Mm hmm But definitely gives action. Yeah, definitely not scared. So who's the better player, you or Kim? I always say Kim. You always say Kim. But I, it's funny because people have such like... JD with two aces. People have such varying opinions. Like some people are like, she's way better. And then other people, you know, think that... Oh, really? I'm better, yeah. So Interesting. It kind of depends like where you... What what style you play. Like you right. people that play... I'm definitely on the tighter side and she's... Um, A little more on... She's the, not tight. The, the wider side. <laughs> yeah. She's not tight. She she likes to play deep, and she likes to see a lot of flops. <laughs> right. Uh, she's kind of similar to OFC in that she puts you in a lot of difficult situations. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's very tough to play against. OFC with King-10. Carlos B. Dunn, Ace-10, and JD with two aces on the deuce-eight deuce board. Going to thin the field out. Looks like probably everyone's going to fold. Except man, AJ's probably might peel one off. Yeah, um, Brass Monkey's going to peel one off here. With oh, I five. didn't realize Brass Monkey had two fives. Yeah, it's I, hard when there's six hands right, on the screen. Right, I keep looking at the left and I keep <laughs> and forgetting about the right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah AJ's going to make the call as well. Okay. Now let's see what the turn brings in. Good turn card here for JD. Yeah, six would have been a disaster for a, uh, AJ. Would have had made top two pairs. He's probably going to keep betting here, I would assume. Yeah, it's a pretty good board for his hand. Yeah. 
Good night, RV Phil. Thank you for being here. All right. Happy good night, uh, RV Phil. Hope to see Thank you next you, week. Running it up. And uh, he's going to get value from AJ here. Sticking around with his eight. Three of diamonds. You think JD's going to bet here with the ace of diamonds in his hand? I think he is. I think he's going to target an eight, possibly a ten. Um, AJ doesn't seem like he's in a folding mood, so <laughs> JD uh, could definitely try to capitalize on that right now. JD definitely looks like he has a little bit of fire in his eyes and wants to bet. Yes. As P would say, look into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like OFC is already racking up. He wants out. He wants out. Just get me out of this this jungle. And AJ is in a really tough spot here. Yes, he is. 1,500. Uh, oh, this looks, it looks like this is the last hand. And then they're doing a flip afterwards, I yeah. think. Yeah. He does make the call. Yeah, JD picking up bases, last hand. Very nice spot for him. Yeah, Ranford was a good board for him. I think that one's going to put him back in the green. I think this is the last hand of the night. Let's check out our cumulative winnings, see how everyone did. Yeah, let's see how that went. Oops. All right. So we got B done leading the pack. Up 9,200 for the night. OFC up 7,000. Moneymaker 5,200. Paolo 1,700. JD, that hand put him into the green. Yeah. So there's up 1,300 now. 1,300. Carlos finished down 745. Brass Monkey 800. Z Fish down 2,200. And AJ uh, down just over 10,000. So. Yeah, almost yeah. 11. The chips were flying tonight. Uh, yeah. Definitely going back and forth. I imagine if these players uh, play after the stream, things can definitely change. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're going to end it with a flip. It's been fun, Gator. Yeah, it's been yeah. fun. It was nice uh, to officially meet you today. For sure. Nice and, uh, to meet you as well. Have some nice commentary with you. It's been a lot of fun. Um, Good times. I think I'm ready to get a little Texas Roadhouse yeah, here in Texas. Get your, uh, me too, and get your game on tomorrow. Yeah. I mm -hmm. wish you the best of luck in the I in thank the you so tomorrow. much. I, I'm going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> there. It should be a fun game. Tough guys in that game. For sure, yeah. It would be a fun lineup. Yep. What do we got here? Anyone have a four? Paolo has a four. Paolo actually. has a four yeah. and a six. He's got a boat. Yep, four and a six. That's going to do it. Oh, he's got a four and a nine, actually. The Magugi that I talked about earlier. Yep, he's going to take it down with four and Take it nine. down with four full of nines. Uh, 900 in the middle. So they must have did 100 on that one. Oh, that's good. All right, nice San Paolo. Good way to end the stream. All right. I want to thank everyone for being here with us tonight. Yep, thank you, everybody, yeah. for tuning in tonight on the Poker House Live Dallas stream. Um, I am Paul Sony Gator. And I'm Hayden Fortini. Hayden Fortini. And good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for tuning Peace in. Out. See you we'll next time.